Good evening, one and all. Welcome. Cool. My name is Peter. It is my honor to welcome you to the final episode of Strife of the Chosen. We are here while Trapped by Hope is on hiatus. And with me for a hellishly good time, we have this cast of characters. Jade as Carolus the Warlock. Alias Prime as Marrow the Rogue, Lindsay Rousseau as Helmara the Fighter, Samus as Juniper Barbarian. the Druid. What? Barbarian. You did that last Barbarian. time, too. Barbarian. You did that did. last time, too. And I said Barbarian last time, Barbarian. too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, it's on the, I'm just that. I should never use a teleprompter because that could be bad. Because I was just reading. I was just reading without thinking. <laughs> You've now revealed your weakness to us, Peter. So I know. Excellent. I should use a spell teleprompter. I'm good at, I'm good at improvising, but but apparently not when just reading a script that I wrote. I somehow trust myself. <laughs> the biggest mistake not to trust myself. <laughs> Lastly, oh. <laughs> Liz as Vosareth. The cleric. <laughs> Are we ready, guys? Are let's we ready do this. to uh, finish yeah. this out? Yeah. Let's do okay, it. then. Kill everything. My friends, those of you just joining us last time on Strife of the Chosen, this group of adventurers, through various means, had been summoned to the depths of hell itself. The first layer of hell where an eternal war is waging between devils and demons. On this war-torn surface, they found a young child in the middle of a traveling bazaar who claimed to be the chosen of Ilmater, the god of the uh, good god of suffering. She asked them to find the hearts of two angels. The party found the first and brought it back and found it instantly resurrected into the jackal-headed angel Verweer. They were then sent to a hell wasp hive to retrieve the second heart the heart of rascomedes and after many long uh arduous battles um paralysis from hell wasp stings and much nastiness they were able to slay the hell wasp queen herself and pull the still beating heart of the celestial from the wall of the hive where the body had been slowly absorbed as food for larva. Now, with the heart in your hands, the rest of the wasps have fled after the slaying of their queen, and you can feel the magic of this horrific place beginning to fade a bit as it the tethers uh, the chains tethering it to the surface you can hear slinking and kind of um going slack a bit there will be no issue for you to exit the hive and get down to avernus with your quarry intact in addition since you have successfully navigated here the return trip will not require any um additional survival rolls on your way back to the Emporium, is there anything you guys would like to discuss before you return your quarry to um, Dara, the Chosen of Ilmater? So Juniper uh, will walk next to Marrow and she'll just kind of put her arm around his shoulder awkwardly since he's so much shorter than she is. And, and she'll be like, so now that we've killed all the bad things, are you feeling a little bit better about being in hell? Uh no but you totally did it you were amazing back there uh, i don't know what you're talking about i was trying to fly on that broom and it was just zipping all over the place it was yeah but you like totally stopped her. yeah you, you carried me on the broom you were amaze balls nice. what what balls <laughs> Amazing. also you look you look so cute you look darling in your little in your little cloak. Boop. <laughs> she boops him on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna speak to my representation about this. Uh, halfling, halfling union. Hey, you know a guy. <laughs> We're not cute. 
<laughs> Juniper will just spend the remainder of the the trip back trying to like cheer you up and and make you feel not terrified that you're in this horrible it place. Would, it would it would cheer me up and make me feel less terrified if we got out of here. Yeah. We're working on it. We're almost done, I think. You keep yeah. saying that, but all, all I heard was about, oh, we're going to get our just desserts or something. It was so creepy when she said that. <laughs> no, they are all dead. No one's going to hurt you. We killed everything. Well, I mean. You certainly did. One. Ah, yes. Pull the wings <laughs> off of the, pull the wings. Oh, oh, bit. Um, so as you as you continue back again, the journey to the uh, Wandering Emporium is no issue. Arriving back, the heart in hand, the many fiends of this place now seem to begin to pay you closer notice. It's as if they too can hear the beating of this celestial heart. Many flaming eyes look at you with hunger, with anger, suspicion. Though within the Emporium you are safe, you feel that you are quickly becoming an object of attention. Even the proprietor himself, Mahadi, the handsome Kalimshite man, regards you coldly, coldly, excuse me, as you approach the tent. Amara glares at them and proceeds to flick them all off. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I'm in a meat market. What, what are you, you looking at? We just... literally just saved the world. You're welcome, okay? I didn't see any of you wanting to go in and kill the waspy stingy things. No? Okay. Wait. How about we stop with the passive aggressive, huh? We saved the world? I mean, we saved somebody's world. I don't know. We saved the god. That's got to count oh, for something, right? Say, I need to increase my rates if I'm saving the whole world. <laughs> Eh, save the gods, save the world. It's all, you know, it's all connected. The, uh, at you mentioning, uh, you know, well, well, you, you didn't really say saving innocence or anything, so they don't really pay you any mind, but just the snarls uh, curl up a bit tighter and meaner. A few more fangs are bared, but that's about it. Returning to the tent... The young child, Dara, is seated there again on her wooden stool, slouched uncomfortably, and looks up at you as you enter. Juniper has yeah. the heart in hand, and she passes it to Dara. Oh. We totally got it. Here you go. We still haven't been paid from the first job. Remember, no payment for me. Find us helping. No, no, no. I'll oh. take hers. I, uh, yeah, we well, definitely promised uh, I the payment. I already yes. claimed her share last time. That is true. This is a different job, like you said. We weren't paid for that one. Fine. She takes the heart in her hands and without even looking up to you says, Don't worry. You're nearly finished here. Oh, love lies bleeding. <laughs> and then takes the heart, brings it to her face, and kisses it. At which point, um, the beating intensifies. Ew. And it suddenly rises up from her hands, levitating in front of her, and in a flash of bright light, you are blinded momentarily before seeing, standing before you, another angel. This one not as tall, as the hound-headed one, and not as resolute in posture. Sort of hunched shoulders, a nervous look, and an owl's head. You hear the uh, hound-headed angel fair weir growl. Ah, Rascomedes, welcome back. It's time to hunt. And uh, you hear us. Oh, 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 oh dear, oh, oh dear. Um, uh, 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 oh, oh, I, I've had. Dara, Dara, I've had the strangest dream. I, I saw. I saw Uriel. He's in El Turel. And Dara smiles. The third angel. 
your final task as she looks between all of you. Uh, and then she turns back to the owl who uh, wrings his sort of feathery hands looking between all of you. I, he's in, 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 in the city, somewhere bound in extraordinary pain has been for a long time. He bleeds constantly. I, um, I don't, I, I don't know any uh, more than that, but the end of the vision, the chains were broken from him and turned into, well, uh, righteous chains of light, chains to hold back darkness and not to torture the living. He is the final key to, to save all of them. And um, Dara kind of goes over and pulls a bit of the tent aside. And you can see high in the sky a city floating in the middle of the sky of Avernus. This is El Terrell. You've heard something about it. A city once known for its faithful population for its paladins its clerics its beautiful monuments to the gods of good has been corrupted by a great evil so much so that the city was now transported down by some immense magic into hell itself chains pull at it and you can even see as they tighten and drag the city closer down to the surface of Avernus. You can only imagine tens of thousands of innocents must still be there as the city has not existed in hell for that long. They're the ones. They're why you're here. You won't be able to save them directly, but your actions will give them a chance. We'll give thousands of more souls the chance to live. There, there, there is wealth. There's no such thing as there is honor no to be gained, and it is the right thing to do. And she looks at you with a mixture of um, confusion and pity, Marrow, as you say that. Now, for chain breaking, I've got some special tools that will help with that. Um, that's, that's not El Terrell. I've been to El Terrell. That's a very nice effect you have going there. Um, payment. Yeah? You will be given your just rewards. Again, with the really ominous yeah, word. I'm really not liking the phrasing that you are using. Like, the, it's very suspicious to me. What? Please define just rewards, because I would like to see the, con the, the the contract to know exactly what is in the fine print. Juniper heaves a deep sigh in the corner, but she doesn't get involved in the conversation. <laughs> be quiet. Be quiet, Juniper. Um, <clears throat> her, her name's uh, Juniper, not her. It's a, oh, it's, it's totally hard. fine. Uh, you hear uh, the hound-headed angels barks up. Honor is not a thing of contracts. Honor is striving with all you have to do right to protect the good and innocent. And he's kind of flustered, and you hear the hound, uh, the owl headed angel. Uh, 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 it, is, it, it is true, these, these, these places will tie you to. You, you can sign yourself to uh, monetary or, 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 or political or power benefit here and earn much, but what is the, the, the greatest rewards and the greatest good comes from doing what is needed without promise. It's, it's, of, it's like Bubo is speaking a whole different language. I can't understand a thing that he means about just desserts and goodness and just if we're um, going to get out said, here, well, he let's very, get to work. He is very wise, but 
He has been asleep a long time in a very strange place as she kind of strokes the owl-headed angel. Oh. You will not be left wanting when this is done. I just ask and you to we also your heart. will not be dead, right? Like, because I feel like, you know, just rewards. I've heard this phrase used in other contexts and usually results in someone trying to take my head off. Yeah, and it's usually paladins. <laughs> hmm. If any of us do survive this, you will be rewarded. I only ask you consider in your heart what you think a just reward would be. Not having to listen to you talk any longer. I mean, I'm just going to put that on the list, but it's fine. Oh my God, the shade, Helly. How dare you? But she's smiling. Well, come on, she's like very talking in circles. But wait a minute. You know, it's very, so we, very confusing. So we get to name our own price, is what I'm hearing. Ilmata rewards his faithful. Okay. Who's that? So. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let me level with the both of you. If this is that important to you and you are not happy with the reward that's given afterwards, I have a small cash at home and I'm totally happy to share it with you. Okay. Also, you, uh, well, I guess that um, Carolus is taking my money, right? That's what I we agreed think, on? I think that's what we agreed, yes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to offer you some of my share, but it, it seems that Carolus has beat you to it, as it were. Never mind. Where, where, where right, is it so... that you live, Juniper? Um, well, actually, I am a druid of the Circle of the Moon from the Cloakwood near the beach. It's an amazed place for spring break if you've never been. Um, I'm a founding member of our local chapter of HEDA, Humanoids for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Super proud. You totally have to come visit when we're done. Yes. But what, what, <laughs> Where do you sleep when you're at home? I have a village. Also, I'm sorry, I I don't want to be impertinent, but Mero, are are you are you not not good? I'm good. You, uh, mm. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> this is fine. Just assume because you were small that you were nice. That oh. is so. <laughs> you know, it's not typical. good to make assumptions about people just because of how they look. That no, would be like right. assuming that, that Helmara here is is aggressive and dangerous just because. Well, that's perhaps well, she is an example. aggressive um, and dangerous, but not to no, us. No, listen, but in like the best way possible. Yeah, in the best way. <laughs> Weird beggar men in alleys. Putting curses on me to help you people does not make me bad. Oh, that's why you're here. <laughs> so it's not out of the goodness of your heart. Well, goodness, I'm sorry, no. I just needed I just needed that clarified. I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> just she remember. Diverts her attention somewhere else. I have skills. Yes, you you did very well with a broom. You did. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> The okay, so now we two go angels where? are sharing. Just... Sorry, the two <laughs> angels are sharing glances between one another during this conversation, and the um, owl-headed one kind of opens a beak to speak, and Dara just holds up a hand and says, "No, they are the ones." <laughs> so I'm like totally ready. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready. What to were do you this. going to say, uh, Helmara? Excuse me. <laughs> Oh no, I was gonna say, where are we going next? What's going on? What are we doing? Yeah, let's let's get away from these two. They look like the spoon bending type. Paladins, the lot of them. Let's go. It was very nice to meet you. I'm I'm glad to see you in a corporeal form again. So they will share that Um Uh, right. That their Uriel is uh, in possession of an artifact and is deep within the city of El Terrell in an old holy complex known as the Dolorous Aditum. Uh, 
Um, <clears throat> I will. You know how to spell Dolores, but um, Adetim? <laughs> Does Is it spelled how it sounds or? Kind of. It was not. It was not. <laughs> <laughs> no. A D D T Adetim. A D T N. It is Edetum. defined as the innermost sanctuary of an ancient Greek temple. I don't know who the Greeks are, but anyway, um, yes. Listen here, Dolores, Dolores Daddy Time. Adetum. They do not know how to find it, <laughs> but they will um, say that <clears throat> there is a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a grand library that may have information about where the oldest monks hid their sanctums. She also offers, she tells you where it is in the city and will offer, though it will take quite some energy and likely have consequences for her, she can teleport you near that location. So you don't have to risk running through the blood war and um, flying amongst squadrons of devils, really, that are encircling this place as it's dragged down. Yeah, teleportation sounds like a good plan. Yeah, that would Especially be very since kind. we're like, totally pissed off everybody on the way in here. Yeah, they didn't seem very happy to see us. Mm -mm. They don't seem very happy at anything. Well, they are in hell. So are we. Yeah, but, but they I, can't leave. But we're, yeah, we're leaving, right? At some point. Right? I, I can totally Thank take you. us out of here when necessary. Qu qu Got quoting it. Juniper, for sure. <laughs> oh, it's uh, for sure. My gosh, it's like she said it. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, good at, I'm good at making fun. Of, I mean, good at uh, um, uh, impersonations. By the way, thank you very much, Dara. We would very much appreciate just a little... Teleport up to the... Just a little boop. <laughs> a little boop, totes. Sit little down boop. then and join hands together. Toshreth immediately and sits do, down and extends her hands on either side. <laughs> okay. She kind of steps in the middle circle to you all and um, just kind of sits cross-legged on the ground and glowing energy begins to form around all of you as she starts to hum and then sings a little tune. Um, <clears throat> which is, uh, where is it? Ah. She calls out with her voice closed. I know not where you are to go or what you're looking for, but if he say I make it so, so tarry we no more. I pray for your return, my friends, may mercy be at your side, but if you happen to meet your ends, that means you all have died. Wait, what? <laughs> and suddenly everything goes black and you feel a falling sensation <laughs> as the world dissolves around you and you feel your bodies and souls plummeting. <laughs> and suddenly the ground meets underneath your feet. Even the sturdiest of you, oh, you feel it in your knees as you stand now on the uneven, broken streets of a city once known as El Turel. Uh, it is a charred ruin of what it once was. What buildings survived the descent and subsequent return are cracked, partially collapsed, many still smoldering. The stench of brimstone and blood hangs heavily in the air and bodies of mortals and fiends alike are scattered everywhere. You don't know at what cost Dara sent you to this place, but you can see nearby a tall, 
um, building, not unlike a temple, the closest landmark, certainly maybe two blocks away, that may be this grand library of which she spoke. It's not long after you are um, here, you may, you kind of have materialized in a small little courtyard with um, a partially collapsed tower giving you some cover overhead that you hear a terrible sound echoing across the sky somewhere between a, um, a horse's whinny and a scream of pain as a black flaming steed flies across the sky above you, astride it, mounted as a figure in black armor, motes of fire, light coming out from its helm, scan all across the streets, and it um, emanates, it f emanates from it an aura of absolute dread. It pays Is no heed. At the, let's go. Oh, mm -hmm. I was just going to ask, is there a place for cover? Um, is there, there a place is. that I can... Um, I you guys are all in cover right now, and this one passes for the moment. It is probably um, surveying uh, some of the larger streets and alleyways further away. This is the more... Um, well, you, after you see this passing over, you then see a few other winged creatures zipping around up at the top. It seems that this area is, um, well, the city itself is being uh, patrolled and watched. I'd like to hide. You guys Are we already uh, hit it hear a, I like, I'd like to hide, you hear that voice, and then you suddenly do not see Marrow. <laughs> Marrow! <laughs> <laughs> that um, definitely was uttered out loud. <laughs> do we, uh, so are we in, like, a natural environment or not? Like, are, are we in, this like, is the a, downtown um, city? This is a what used to be a grand city, many temples, beautiful homes constructed of marble and stone, what used to be flagstone streets all over the place, gardens, much of it has been reduced to ash and rubble now. It is not completely destroyed and razed, but you can tell that the ordeal of it being dragged down to hell has um, caused it great distress. You can hear shouts, um, maybe miles away, screams, sounds of battle. The city is still living. It is not, not, you know, many of the souls are still alive and fighting for survival in this place, but too many to possibly save one by one. So yes, this is a- Are there space. any animals? Um, make a, uh, make a perception check. I will do one 15. as well with you. Fif uh, 15. Okay. When when you make announcement that that's what you're looking for. Uh, 27. Okay, so you two look around, Hamara. You see um, what looks to be um, a uh, maybe a rat kind of sneaking around in and out of some of the rubble. Um, Maybe looking for a last little bit of food. Um, Juniper, you look and uh, sort of under some bits of rubble in a smoldering area, a black cat has decided to use this place as a bit of cover, and you can just barely see its yellow eyes and vertical pupils staring out in your direction. Uh, I would some like animals? to offer some food to coax the cat out a little bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. You see it. It kind of, uh, it's very thin. Would probably like a stray. A, would you like a check someone's for this? Pet, oh, and it moves yeah. a little bit closer, and as it sees and regards all of you as you get down, yes, please make an animal handling check. Um, I would like to try and coax the rat out. Okay. Twelve. 25 for the kitty. 
you may make a uh, animal handling check as well. Are you using food, uh, bait, or? Uh, yeah, I, I I would pull some food out. Here, ready, ready, ready. Here, ready. <laughs> uh, that's a six. Um, you as you kind of step towards it, even as you try to not be quite so threatening, you see its nose flitting in the air, and then it ducks and uh, skitters away under the rubble. Um, and Helmara's like, ah, oh, damn, and she turns to Jim where she's like, if you get the kitty out, I would very much like to see if I can see what she sees, and perhaps she can go forward and we can learn some things. Basically, I want to cast Beast Sense on, uh, on one of these animals. Here's a okay. story for you. Uh, after seeing the rat, it made me laugh. Uh, the last time I was in Neverwinter, I, I polymorphed a rat into a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It was rather funny. <laughs> if you imagine a rat, a rat's scared of everything. So this Tyrannosaurus Rex was just scared just of running everyone. Running ape shit all over the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. Uh, so I got a 25 on my kitty check, Mr. DM. That's really good. And so, yes, you're able to coax it towards you. It eats a little bit and you can actually it'll you can pick it up if you would like. And it will um, kind of nuzzle against you a little bit. It's clearly being made uh, very in, comfortable. In many, in many cultures, they say that, that those animals can see spirits all rubbish, oh. but they do very freak good. out sometimes. <laughs> and I, I, I come over and I, I, I gently pet the kitty. And then I will cast beast, beast Sense on it. You are very good, Kitty. I bet you have learned many things since you have been here. I'd very much like to see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> uh, what does that allow you to do? Uh, okay, so Beast Sense allows me to see through the beast's eyes and hear what it hears. While perceiving through the beast senses, I also gain the benefit of any special senses possessed by that creature. Um, and I am blinded and deafened to my own surroundings. Okay. So basically, so, Helmara kind of just goes into this trance. You see her eyes glaze over, um, and you notice the cat seems a lot more uh, perceptive. Cool. Yeah, so the, um, you see a bit Can of a flash of bear? light in the cat's eyes as, the, um, uh, as you take over senses, uh, and I'm assuming Helmara communicated that, so you now know that this cat will, uh, Helmara will be able to see whatever the cat sees and hears. Don't befriend it. We won't be able to eat it. But are we trying to eat it? No, we're not. Recon! Recon! <laughs> no, those, those animals, they're actually <laughs> very helpful as well for keeping out other smaller vermin. And uh, they can also find the smallest places to get into crypts and to, um, to get into different places that don't have clear entrances. <gasps> I know what your thing is now. You rob graves. Oh, no. no. What's that? Uh, that would be illegal. It, Unless one has a permit for exploration. <laughs> oh, and may I see your permit? Do you carry it with you at all times? I don't have one for El Terrell. Meanwhile, the cat has, has <laughs> scampered like off. Scampered off, is, yeah. Is, she's just listening to them and she's like, no. Mm -mm. I will, El I will is literally the... still like locked in this conversation so, with Mero. <laughs> what is it that you are uh, coaxing the cat to do? As... Uh, basically, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to basically run recon with this cat to see if there's any dangers ahead for us to be aware of, if there's any like secret areas that would be good to know about, things like that. I assume we point her in the direction of the temple. Yes, Almara. Question. Great. Is that is that where we okay? Um, we'll say that with the enormous animal handling that you did before, you are able to coax and convince the cat somehow to go to um, the library. The only thing is, I don't believe it gives you control over the cat. You can see it does not give it. me control. No, it's right. not. Um, it's not that other spell. That yeah, no. Right. So. Um, Heading towards, indeed, the uh, library, you see that there are a grand set of stairs leading up about half a story, 
um, a number of entrances t that uh, head into a grand foyer. And you see then briefly Halmara, uh, before it enters, words at the top that say the chained library. Um, a few things as the cat will kind of dip in and out of some small spaces. Some things, well, actually, uh, the cat will get in there. Um, it seems mostly empty. You don't see anything from its originally uh, scouting at first. But please make a perception check um, just to uh, gain overall sense of what's in there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. uh 16. Okay, not bad. Not great, so but you not notice bad. that there are three wings. You can quickly read the text. It seems to be a um, one of uh, history, one of arcane study, and then a wing of books dedicated to um, the religion of Elturel. There, every book in this place seems to be secured to its shelving by iron chains. Hence the name, the Chained Library. Each of each one of these thousands of books has a chain, and you can hear just a slight sound of the clinking of these metal links upon one another. <clears throat> the cat then hears what sounds like a large chain being dragged across the ground. Um, across stone, and upon hearing that, ducks away, and you can see it find a little uh, break in the wall, and just begins to hide in a little spot uh, where it can avoid this. Looking out, you see heavy iron booted feet <laughs> walking up and down the hallways, and then a almost like the train of a dress, a bunch of chains drag behind the creature. All you can see are the chains and the feet. For a second, I was going to say boots and a dress, Sarayan? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Kush, kush, but kush, kush. Aside from maybe this one creature, uh, th that's all the cat sees and hears for the moment, but there doesn't seem to be much life in here. Okay. And the cats now uh, kind of just stay in put? I'm, yes. I'm actually going to be guarding uh, Helmara's uh, nonsense okay. body. Um, now that he's also uh, giant to hide behind. Yeah. Now that the cats kind of, I can tell the cats kind of not going to go progress any further. Um, she's going to come out of this trance, and I will then convey the information that I witnessed via I was not the cat. Picking your pocket. I was guarding your body. I appreciate would, that very I much. Would Thank check, you. I would check your pockets, but um, so is, is the cat okay? Yes, the cat is hiding now, but there is one very big creature-looking thing. But that seems sure. to be the only thing. A uh, very interesting okay, library. Okay. Um, lots of very weird creatures. A library. In, <gasps> yes. Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. have to go to the but library. There, Yes, yes, but big, big, scary creature thing that we will probably need to kill uh, in order to be, be able to get our library card. I don't know if we can check books <laughs> out, if they're allowed to leave, if we okay, have to stay in the library. I'm very so, sorry to interrupt, but if there's no librarian, then do I need a card? As, as, uh, maybe it's a magical library, no, no, I don't know. Then that would be stealing. The cat, the cat wasn't clear. <laughs> uh, wouldn't it just, what if I borrowed it and then sent it back? If that would be illegal. No, it's just borrowing it. Okay, you steal for a living. <laughs> I, I do not. I don't. I, don't so, I, I actually don't know what you do, Carolyn. Does, does, does Elmar have any idea? I steal I for the living, <laughs> not a living. Yeah. Does Helmara have any idea what kind of monster is dragging the chains based on what she saw through the cat's eyes? Or is that the extent of the knowledge? Is the monster um, a killer from Dead by Daylight? <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> based on the description, um, make a... Uh, those of you who are trained in religion may try to make the religion check. 
Also, Helmara can, just because she was the one seeing it. And uh, it's a difficult check, just because it is, you don't oh, have not a horrible. ton of information. Mm, 16. This I can't make that check. Can anyone else? <laughs> nope. Wait, what's the check? What's the check? It's religion. a religion. Check. Religion. Oh my gosh! You know what? What's interesting is that I might be. <laughs> I was gonna wonder if our cleric might. <laughs> um, you know, I am. <laughs> Weirdly, so um, Vushrath will assist Heli in making this religion check. Um, I will roll with my Kraken dice. So why don't you? Yeah, roll your own. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yes, please. Boop. Oh, 17 plus nine, 26. You have a plus nine on your religion? Um, I don't want to brag, but I am a level 13 cleric, so yes, wow. I do. <laughs> uh, Voshara. Humble brag, stay humble. <laughs> so Helmara's on the right track. She identifies it as fiendish, and looking at the iron Helmara, you know that this is not like any iron you've seen forged on the plane either. This is this metal is, is uh, both wicked in the sense that it is uh, it is smithed to be rough and um, jagged and seems almost brittle but the way you see it drag across the ground you can tell that despite this this um, nonsensical nature about how it can almost be flaky at times it looks absolutely solid these chains look like they would be almost instruments of torture the way that they're that they exist they, there's no way for this metal to exist this way on the material plane there's something demonic or um, devilish about it and as you think of that Vosharef, the idea of a chain devil comes to your mind and with that high it's of a very check weird. you know that chain devils that. are able to manipulate and control chains around them that's why she's got a nice dress why would they do that uh, to a book? Uh, I don't, why, why books? That's very weird. Well, books can be very powerful. It's true. I, 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 did, I did see Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As a note, Elturel has been here <laughs> only not, not very long. It's only been a couple days maybe. So this is the construction that it was originally. Um, these chain devils may have just found a home amongst things they really like, which are chains. Do you think that the book is in the restricted section? <laughs> I do. I do. Oh my god, we're going to the restricted section of the library. So hearing hearing about the chain devil, Juniper will produce a, a small twig and will grow ten berries on it, and she will hand each of you two berries. So like, totally put these in your left pocket. And if any of you go down, you'll know where to retrieve it and it will bring you back. Just a little extra precaution. That's left so pocket, nice. got it. Left if we're, pocket. Wait, if we're down. What are these? These are good, good berries. berries. They're good oh, they're good berries. berries. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But good if berries. we're down, won't we not be able to do that? But what if you do it before you're down? You just I'm have pretty to pull sure a tooth Peter out would not and be okay put a good berry in, oh, and when you yes. fall down, chop. Oh, oh mm. or you hide them. You hide them in your cheeks, like a like a like chipmunks. Good berry mouth like guard. Like yeah. 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 <laughs> I want that we squirrel. all know that I was a like, one, Daddy. Well, like no, you, you do it. You do it like you know the cyanide capsules that people would keep, and then they'd chomp down on them right before. That's what I was you know, saying. So. You take a tooth out, yeah. you put the good berry in, exactly. you chop it when and you, you go down. And you chomp down right exactly. Yeah. It was just thinking or of it inadvertently chomps when you get hit in the head. You know. Yeah. Mm. Just keep it lodged don't, in your throat the whole time. Just don't uh, don't don't get drunk and mix up your capsules <laughs> preparing for battle. <laughs> Very yeah. Bad. No. Not good. <laughs> All right. Um, so yes, you now are, uh, you are close to the library. You know there is at least a chain devil likely inside amongst all the chains. And you know that there are three wings of knowledge in the library. Um, Let's one history, the, one religion, one of the arcane. Let's go kill the devil then. The quicker we get this done, we can, quicker we can go home. Kill the devil. Do we know how to kill chain devil? Uh, that is not a creature I have encountered before. I find just blasting mm. stuff work, I, or, or hitting stuff. Yeah, you see, you're, you're this this you. is where paladins okay. are handy to have around. 
mm-hmm. instead of being all judgmental. I hate paladins. Mm-hmm. As much as you I'm do. Very, very high and mighty. Oh, yes. Like they don't get angry like everybody else. I don't get angry. Give it a minute. Are you a paladin? No, I'm a cleric. Oh, there you go. But you know, those those religious types. Oh, you weird god people, up. yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, the... Wait. <laughs> what? Um, shall we just go and hit it then? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, Helmora's very good at hitting things, so... I'll get up close. Hmm. You're so small! Will she see you? You're like... Oh, it's, it's, very, it's very good at hiding, so... What if you kick just going... <laughs> yeah, you gonna sneak in, Meryl? Yes, yes, I will. I will sneak in. Oh man, I really wish that was Meryl's voice. <laughs> he's like starting, that's, but he's like, oh yeah. <laughs> that's a different game. It's his voice in his own head. Yeah. Do this. <laughs> that's his voice in his own. That's what he hears. Indeed. <laughs> oh that's, yeah. That's how Meryl hears himself. Exactly. He's like, yeah, of course I'm going in. Yeah, of course I'm going in. <laughs> All right, Meryl, please roll a stealth <sighs> check. Okay, I can do that. 25. 25 off of three. <laughs> Reliable talent. All right, you come in and tuck yourself behind one of the shelves. You can just see between two chained books. The chains around you unnervingly kind of start to undulate a bit, as if almost like water-like shake around just a bit um and you see one chain devil walking down sort of the main stairs and then you hear it (laughs) call out in some vile language and Answering it is another one. Two of them, apparently, in this place. And about that time, the rest of the party, it's been about 20 or 30 seconds since Marrow's going in. Sounds like it's time to charge. Charge. We we can try to stealth in, right? No. Collectively? Charge. No. I, mean, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah. Potentially. Sounds like you're kicking down <laughs> the front door. No. <laughs> I'd right, rather let's go not. for it. She's already gone. Yep. Elmer is running in. We're going to do this all theater of the mind to do this first Love it. Uh, combat here. Okay. We still have to drag our guys on, though, yeah? Uh, Yes. Just gra- drag your tokens over to the right or wherever to uh, make sure you can get on the initiative tracker. Right. Exclamation mark giveaway. Join the giveaway. Do it. Do it. I dare you. Why should they join the giveaway? What will it benefit really? them? Dice. Crack and dice. Oh. All right, and Helmara, what did you roll? Full credit. Oh, shit. Initiative. Ha ha. Sorry. I was busy looking through my character sheet. Uh, 16. Also, since you often use um, Darkest Dungeon music for the battles, did everyone see that there's a new Darkest Dungeon coming out? I didn't. That's exciting. <laughs> now. I have I'll to beat the first I'll one. because you... I. <laughs> I have that like syndrome where I just keep starting a new game every time I open the game up. I'm there, like, I don't know. I need to finish it too, I've, but I'll send I have it no to you. Of this place, you know. What are you the about? trailer, oh, Darkest Dungeon. Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> it's a fun don't tell Sean. Like. He'll be in the middle of his next opera and suddenly start singing the Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> Sean needs to know too. He loves Darkest Dungeon. No. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, let's uh let's start this off with uh Juniper, you're first up. Uh no, I'm pretty Earth sure it's first Earth. Earth, yeah. What? 
Always great when the cleric goes first. So yes, it is. It's good when the cleric goes first because they can grant advantage by like blessing people. And so I will bless myself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What shall I do? I was unprepared because usually um, our sweet Helmara <laughs> tends to roll higher. I mean, than me. that was <laughs> so that, that was with advantage. I know. I know. Yeah, mine is also with advantage, and you still usually roll higher. Let's see. Okay, so she's she's trying. Helmar is not trying to take all the glory, right? Not every battle. She's generous. You see, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, spread it around. Mm-hmm. Spread it around. Um, and if you soften them up, she can get the death blow. So while she's deciding, can I ask DM, what is yeah, the ahead. layout of the, uh, what's the, are they coming down a hallway? Or are they in yeah, like a so big Yeah, so this room? is sort of a main foyer area. Um, the, it's, it's grand, but it's, the room is about 20, uh, 20 feet square, maybe 40 feet long. One of them has kind of come down some stairs. Another one is coming from what would look to be a different wing. Like there's, you know, stairs going up and then leading down a hallway to one wing and it's kind of a T-shaped building. You're at the cross of the T and then there are two wings to your left and right. One has come from the left and um, it's a it's a tight space. There are the the bookshelves go up almost to the ceiling and are kind of everywhere around you. Um, It's not super wide open, so. Okay. All right, what's it gonna be, Voshadef? Okay, Um, so. I will cast my spiritual weapon because I prepared it this time and I feel as though it may come in handy. Cool. So um, Vosharath will kind of like just for a second, close her eyes and center herself. And she will say, Aina Turi Elianach and a shimmering scepter will appear um, kind of with, she'll have her hand outstretched and she'll be able to clasp her hand around it, but the weapon obviously is going to be able to move about by itself. But yeah. at the same time, it's just this like really beautiful long scepter that glows with the celestial light. Cool. Um, do you have it go attack on this turn? You can, it's part of the first cast of the spell. No, I just leave it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I just right. did it make to a, look cool. Uh, make your uh, <laughs> spell attack then. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Kraken dice. They never betray you. They just sometimes don't give you exactly what you want. <laughs> so I rolled a seven, but plus eight uh, is 15. Doesn't quite pierce its armor. Beans. Okay. Anything and, uh, else? Let's See, That's I a bonus do... action, right? No, it's an action, I believe. Oh. It is a bonus action. You can still cast a cantrip Ooh. if you would like, or you can... Um... I would like to, yes. So then, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to toll the dead. All right, wisdom saving throw? Yes. I'm a devil, so I have advantage. Hellish resistance. I, roll um, low, roll low. 16. Uh, meet to be... Unfortunately, yes, I'm 16. a saving throw. Yeah. Oh, beans. Oh, beans. Sorry. I mean, does fuck. Not I mean, take, beans. <laughs> does, not, does not take damage. Uh, and okay. that will be, I believe, the end of your turn. Yeah, what can you do? Bring us to now, Juniper. Yeah. All right. Um, Peter, with your permission, I would like to cast Spike Growth at the top of the stairs where the... Um, uh, where the uh, chain devil is so that they have okay. to pass through the entire, uh, if they're coming down the stairs, which I imagine they are, they have to pass through the entire uh, field uh, without any way to kind of avoid it. Okay. Um, yeah, go uh, go ahead, make that, uh, you can cast that spell. How? What is the area of effect? Uh, it is a 20 foot radius, so uh, it, it can go a length of 40 feet down the stairs. And I assume based on your description, we'll cover the entire width of the staircase. Yeah, 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 that's good. That, that makes sense. Cool. All right. Anything else? Uh, no, I think that that is... Uh, oh, yeah, I can do a, I can do a cantrip. Uh, I will try to cast uh, Frostbite at the one that is uh, also coming down the stairs. 
Um, okay. Is so wait, frostbite a no, that's bonus fr action? Frostbite uh, is an that's action. Not a bonus no, action. so I'm a lying person, and I take that back, and you that is are. the end of my turn. Marrow, you're up. Okay, I'm going to assume that since I had stealth and since I had they do snuck not in there, you. that I am, I, I am or can be close enough. I'm going to go with the one on the left. Okay. And I'm going to sneak attack. Ha ha. Hoo ha, Perry. Dot, stabby dot. stabby. Indeed. And as I do so, I'll also be invoking uh, Isak's Binding Ties. So, Booming Blade. If I can get this duped, okay, there we go. And should that hit, let me see my attack with my short sword. 18 to hit. 18 hits. Advantage. Oh, yay. Advantage. Oh, advantage. I'll, I'll uh, see if I'll crit fish, but no. It would have been a 19. Um, but sneak attack, let's see. 39 points of damage. Ooh, nice. And bandages appear around loose loose fitting uh, yes. not really binding but they're translucent and binding around the chain devil uh, okay at which point i will uh Run just away. kind of now that i've made myself really obvious now i'm gonna get out of dodge a little bit and zip away to my full movement speed and then bonus action Oh, what's a good bonus action? Uh, does disengage do anything? Does it, it make this no, advantage? No, it doesn't anything? because you're swashy, yeah. so you can you get that for free. But you like yeah. like Jade is saying, you could use a stealth if you want uh, to hide I'll go yourself. Ahead. I'll go ahead and hide then. So All right. quick stealth roll, boink. Thirty-three stealth. Absolutely I'm hiding behind Helmara. Absolutely I'm, invisible. I'm in her shadow. You're in my shadow. Um, okay. Helmara, you are the real frightening one that is storming in here with your arms and your giant glaive and stuff, and one of them turns towards you at the start of your turn. Helmara, what is... What is... Uh, do you have a, a, a loved one who has been slain or something like that to someone that you... that she remembers from life? Uh, oh, yes, my entire family dead. Yeah, so you see then suddenly as if being pulled up from the ground by chains hooking into their flesh in many different places, being raked up from the ground as if their souls are burning in hell. The figures of all of your family whoosh, whoosh, pop up in front of you as if controlled, puppeted on spikes by the chain devil. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. She's trying to make oh a range. My. She's going to do that anyway. I know, I was going to bonus action rage. Uh, so, uh, that was a nat one. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Um, it is a DC 14. I rolled it again throw. right after it, and I totally crit it. I was like, God damn Mara's it. Got that. <laughs> so, yeah. plus, uh, plus two. That's a three. You are... Um, and your barbarian's out of commission. <laughs> you are frightened until the end of your turn. Damn it. Of uh, just this one... Um, yes, yes. Okay, because there's two. Right. Uh, but, okay, so, so you I can attack the other one. It will still be at uh, disadvantage, though, unless you shield your eyes, in which case will still be at disadvantage because you're, you know, doing this and trying to fight. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to bonus action rage, and then I'm going to reckless, which would give me advantage, so then that negates the disadvantage, so I'll just straight do roll. straight yep. rolls. Okay. Um, does, does rage so turn off being frightened? I think that's if it's a mindless it rage, which uh -huh. depends. I don't know if every barbarian gets I mean, that. Uh, I would have, I mean, just to retcon, I would have raged before we went in, but I know last time we did this, we didn't do any actions before we rolled initiative, but so. She she does say that. We kind of did. Um, but is, that's just piercing, bludgeoning, and slashing. So I don't think it would apply to frightened right? yeah there's a it's a i think it's the berserker that gets um the berserker has a special one thing well yeah hold on so it, it says i'm okay because i was like because i'm a bear i am immune to all damage except psychic but that but frightened is a condition it's not a 
Yeah, correct. So, yeah, yeah okay. it is the Berserker. So, yep, Story you are still frightened just until no, the okay. end of your turn, though. Yeah, I'm going to just straight roll. Uh, okay, good. That is a 15 plus 10 plus 27 to hit. Oh, yeah. Uh, that is going to be 19 points of damage. Okay. I'm going to make my second attack. Uh, a dirty 20 to hit. Yes. And that is going to be 16 points of damage. And I am going to... This is what they look like, by the way. Just so you peeps oh, know. hold on. Oh, ooh, those are terrifying. They're really um, gross. I'm I'm trying to debate if I want to do that. Uh, is that a so? Do they have? I I take it that means they have ranged attacks, right? They you would guess they have reach. Yeah, they have reach. Um, I'm going to. I'm gonna stay put by the creature that I have been attacking. I'm going to stay uh, within five feet of him. Okay. Understood. And it's going to be his turn. Um, very cool. All right. So we are going to make a whole... I'm not, I'm not sure which one I attacked, but when one of them moves, bad things will happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the first one that goes is the one that is wrapped in the energy. It is not going to move. It has a barbarian right in front of it who attacked recklessly. So it is going to begin by attacking with advantage. Mm -hmm. um, first chain attack, uh, 15. No. Second chain attack, 14. That's nope. disappointing as the his two chains flare out and it looks frustrated for a moment and then you see a smile come off of its face and then you hear you a couple of the books fly off the shelves and the chains holding the books to the walls like a um, tentacled sea beast start to slash in your direction. It looks like each of these devils can control up to four other chains at the same time. So it's going to make a couple more attacks. Awesome. With the chains off the wall. Fantastic. Um, there, I have a dirty 20 to hit. Yeah. For 12 points of piercing. And I am resistant, so I will take half of that. Okay. Um, and you feel the chain wrap around you, and you are um, grappled. While grappled awesome. Like this, so you I'm are frightened and grappled. And restrained. That's actually good. You can't run away. Okay, so grappled and restrained? Okay. Yes. It smiles then and looks towards... Uh, that was three attacks, so it's got that one down. It looks towards you, um, Vosharef, and it sends two chain attacks towards you. No, Regular thank you. Regular rolls. I have a 10 and a 24. 24 is going okay. to deal you 20 points of piercing damage, and you are also restrained. And its last attack is going to go towards... And I can't use my reaction, can I? Because I'm restrained. Before you Perilous. restrain anyone... You can use your reaction while restrained. Consent is I mean, very important. But I, I would roll at disadvantage, right? For attacks, yes. 19 to hit Careless. Yeah. Hit 14 points of damage and restrained. Well, crap! I don't like these things. It is your turn, Careless. I... Uh, uh, <coughs> please, uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, if you have a loved one or some, you know, a uh, person you have lost, you will see that person again pulled up on spiked chains as if from the depths of hell displayed in front of you. Doesn't. If that you see yourself <laughs> so it's, so it's, in that So case, it's himself. It's himself then, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, I... Misty Step. Well, um, okay. Yeah. Out of its grass. Please make a wisdom save first, though, for that. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a spell effect, correct? 
Um, uh, yes, effect. it is uh, illusory nature, so yes. Uh, 24. That saves. You were fine. Uh, I missed the step 30 foot away from it, and then I Eldridge Blast it. Da, 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 da. 30. Seems probably going to miss. 16 does miss. Uh, and 27. 30 and 27. I don't know why it's Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those all hit. But two of them hit. <clears throat> Uh, that is 20, 31 damage, and it moves back 20 feet, so the others are no longer restrained. Um, the others are, because it's the chains oh, that you. are having it. They're animated from the shelves, not the... His actual chains on his body were the ones that were... Oh, okay. um, he looks incredibly bloodied. Near death. Uh, anything else? Um, no, that's me done. All right. Uh, more attacks. Let's go. Uh, Juniper has not been attacked, so this one will move. It will. How does it take damage from moving forward through this field of spikes? Then how far does it move? Does it go down the entire staircase? Um, yeah, I'm gonna say it moves down. Um, uh, well. It'll move. It'll start by moving five feet <laughs> and see how much damage it takes. It's uh, not. It, a, it's it'll not a step fool. into the. Okay, it'll step into the field, and each every five feet is two d four up to the length of the spell, which is forty feet. Uh, so, the first. Uh, oops, just kidding. Ignore this first roll, or take the first two from this first roll. Okay. Uh, so five. It'll take five damage stepping in. Okay, uh, so roll another um, 6d4 as it goes 20 feet sort of down and then exits the spell area. Okay, we'll just total all this up. Um, wait, how is it exiting the spell area? Because it's the entire length of the staircase. Okay. Um, well, I, I'm having it move 20 feet to get within range of you, basically. Is, okay, so that's is... 20 feet is a total of 8d4. Okay, yeah, okay, um, sorry, my bad. No, you're good. You're good. Um, it's I'm also difficult to... terrain, though, right? So it's not going to be able to do a full 20 Ooh, feet. half movement. Right? Spike Ooh. growth. I think she's correct. right. Correct. That is correct, yeah. I've played uh, a lot of rangers. <laughs> <laughs> that is a total of... I rolled beastly on these d4s. That's a total of 24 damage for that uh, 20... And it would have had to have dashed to get that far, so it can't take it an action. It will not uh -huh. dash. Uh, it actually uh -huh. can't... It actually can't move far enough to take that full damage, so I'm going to refund it the last seven. Okay. Because it can only move and still do stuff. It can't use its two main chains, but it can still reach out with the four ones, uh, the, the long 30-foot chains that are the holding the books. So okay. we will do two attacks for Sue Juniper, because that was very rude. Uh, uh, they started it. Uh, rude uh, 22 from who's and 17. Bound, like binding people? The 22 will hit. Okay. Uh, well, it will roll the second one at advantage then, since you will be restrained. Um, 17 points of piercing. Ouch. Second attack is lower than the first. Um, I don't see... Well, Helmara did a lot of damage, so it will control two chains and make two more attacks against Helmara because you hurt my brother a lot. Um, 24 and 19. Yep. Total up. It's going to be 17... Uh, 30... 33 points of damage. And then I will have that. Piercing. So I will take 16 points of damage. Gotcha. All right, that's its turn. Nice work, though. You you reduced its tax significantly by keeping it in place there. So that's a You're nice welcome. move there. Vosharef. Okay, so um, let me see. And we're theater of the minding this, correct? Yes. So what is my distance to the nearest chain devil? So one of them's probably now about 40 feet from you, the one that Carolus blasted back, and the other one has just come down to about within 20 feet, and then it had to stop because of Juniper's spell. Um, okay. So both of them moved. 
one, one didn't of them willingly. willingly. The one that yeah. I did does applied it, your damage to that was yeah. over on the side, that one, I, it does. It's willingly yeah. moves really? as okay. for the booming yeah. blade. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, he's got to come and back anyway, so bleh. Remind me uh, the wisdom saves they roll with advantage, correct? Yes. Ah, uh, beans. You think pretty much spell saves in general, they're rolling with advantage. <laughs> it's back because I only have spells. Well, I do have this nifty quarter stuff, but I'm pretty far away. Um, let's see. Oh, also, I'm restrained. So what does that mean for me? I'm just able you to cast move. spells. Yeah, right. So it's like I couldn't You can do cast spells, any... but if it's an attack roll, it's at disadvantage. Okay. So, um... Well, in that case, I will cast... I can't freaking do that even. This is annoying. I hate them. Sorry, that was very... I apologize for being so hateful, but I do hate them. Um, so, blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'm the, just going to... The cleric is allowed to hate the devils. It's okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, frig. Well, I will try to hit with my spiritual weapon okay. and hopefully figure something out after that. Does your... Right. Does yes. that still get disadvantage from restrained? No. I don't think no, so. No, because it's verbal. Yeah, it's verbal. Yeah, well, verbal and somatic components. Yeah. Spiritual weapons are disadvantage. Creatures attack rolls have disadvantage. That seems weird. So, all right, roll it regularly. Okay. Um, I will. Jupiterly boop boop boop. I'm gonna roll it at level four. <laughs> I hope this isn't a waste. I have faith. <laughs> Thank you. Palmaro's just like, you got this. I believe in you. Also get me out of this fucking chain. Thank you so much. I, I'm also in the chains. Um, so 27. Yay. Um, that hits. Great. Is it against that. the one you've been damaging previously, I'm guessing? Yeah. Uh, it's the one that chained me, if it's that one. Um, that's the one if to it's the not... left. That's the one that has, I think those, if I'm remembering correctly, the one that is holding Helmara, Helmara is also one holding you. Okay. Um, as long as that one's I don't 60. remember which one has chained you, but um, that's fine. If that is okay. the one you're attacking, 18 force damage, that is a beastly spiritual weapon roll. You will see that, um, that weapon, that scepter, knock it, and it kind of turns its head viciously sideways and it crumples to the ground in a pile of chains. You also then see um, uh, Halmara is freed from your chains. Uh, you are freed from your chains. Love that. Careless Love that. and. But um, I'm still Vosharef. frightened, right? No, Careless isn't restrained. Um, you are because it was the slower okay. one. That, the other one, yeah. Um, that caused you fright. Just, Careless just is not restrained. Checking. In that case, it is only Juniper who remains restrained at this point. You can still do a spell. Okay. Yep. Um, yes. So I would like to do a cantrip. I will do Word of Radiance. You need to be next to the creature for that. Yeah, you would have to oh, walk frig. up next to it. Then never feet. mind. I'm going to toll the dead. So... I get to roll for that. With advantage. Sorry, I have a 23 on my wisdom. Oh my gosh. Okay, cool, thanks. You're welcome. (laughs) You're not, but it's okay. Juniper, at the start of your turn. I made a bit of forgetting the rules. You take five points of damage as the chains dig deeper into your flesh. Ew, how very dare he. Um, All right, well, unfortunately, there's not too much that I can do that's super effective, but she's going to try a frostbite. Um, and uh, is that a save on my part? It is. It is. Con? It's a con save. Uh, 25. That is a uh, fail. 
Anything no, nothing else? Happens. Juniper? Uh, are you hanging no, out? Uh, I'm hanging out and concentrating. That's a total fail, but on Juniper's part. Oh, I should roll a concentration check for that, uh, shouldn't I? Mm hmm. That just. I'm sorry, remind me. Is that, I'm not a spellcaster normally. That's a, just it's a constitution save. saving throw. It's a constitution yeah. saving throw. It hasn't dealt enough damage. It will just be DC 10. Oh. Wow. Okay. Spike, Spike growth spikes. drops. If that was the case, I would have done that at the time and I would have recast it as my action. If, if that's okay with Too you. Too late. Come on. All right. All right. Let it go. All right. Spikes drop and my turn is over. What? No, I'm. Uh, we forgot to do that save. I'm. I'd be fine with that. Um, if 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 that's okay if that's with you, I would off. use. Mark I off would the spell slot, the, but yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Fine. Um, okay, then it's so, still back. And that's re-upped. And yes. that is your action. Yes. And then it's and marrow. Okay, I am going to uh, come screaming out from behind Helmara. Like once again, hanging on to my broom of flying as it just blasts out from behind her, ah! and gonna fly right up by the the uh, the chain devil that is still standing and attempt to stab him. Her, it, them, them, and I'm gonna booming blade on that Isex binding ties just because if it takes a step, I want its feet to hurt and I want it to hurt and I want the extra damage. Does a twenty three hit? Advantage. It does. Oh, I can I can crit fish, I guess. Boink. No, twenty six though. But it, it hits, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> thirty nine, forty two points of damage. What the fuck did you just <laughs> roll? Wow! <laughs> Holy crap! Uh, right. That was a big sneak attack. That was a huge row. sneak attack. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so 40, for, that, that's some good rolling. Five, two, four, four, six, two, six. That's, that's pretty good. Um, so, and, and he's wrapped up in bandages that are already starting to rip. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I'm going to, uh, then I'm just going to zip away because Swash, he can't up attack me. Right. Best Annoying. class. Best class. <laughs> All right. But he's not dead yet. Is that right? Uh, uh, he is not uh, dead yet. Excuse me. Not, um, not dead yet. No. Okay. As I fly, zooming past on the broom back to go behind Hamara. Uh, it's bonus action dash to get all the way back behind her so I can't hide. But I'll go, ah, your turn. <laughs> and it is, and you are not frightened anymore. Oh, great. So I'm going to attack the one that I assume I'm still standing next to, right? Or Nope, that one has been uh, dispatched but by the okay, before the question, I have a question for Juniper. Juniper, when you recast Spike Growth, did you center it on the Chain Devil this time? I would have, I, I, if I'm being totally honest, I would have left it where it was. And if I see, if I saw Helmara going in, I would have Oh, it's okay, I can fly. It was, it was no, at the okay. end of it. She can fly, so that's right, she's got the boots. Fine. I can yeah. fly, she I got, got the boots. boots. She got it, and she got it. Helmara just like, whoop, and whoo, flies <laughs> She in. flies away and I'm standing there. So, oh, crap. <laughs> excellent descriptors, whoop. Trying Ooh. to, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack recklessly with a uh, great weapon, uh, and that is gonna be boop, 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 19 minus five, 14, 22 to hit. Yes. Uh, that is gonna be 30 points of damage. <sighs> oh, I'm dead. gonna. Is it dead? Nope. Oh, nope. Okay, poop. I'm gonna do the same thing again, and that is gonna be uh, minus five. A dirty twenty to hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, twenty-seven points of damage, and then I am going to bonus action bash him with the other side of my pole arm. 24 to hit. 
And that is going to be, that's just my D4. So that's 13 points of damage. Bah, bah, bah. She, she's, she's, she, she is not happy about this mind trip that they've been playing on her. And she's just like, goosh, goosh, goosh. Yeah, for a and second, the last I thought she looked scared, but can't does be. indeed fell this last. Uh, yeah. Boom. And your eye makeup is, is still silence. By the way. And a little cat runs out of the uh, of a little corner out of uh, some of the uh, mm-hmm. rubble and meows at you. A little black cat. <laughs> and it is for now quiet again in the library. And I, I'm going to give a little piece of jerky or something to the cat. Yes, nice. we will keep will feeding it. Munch on it. Keep, keep feeding the kitty. Yes. yes. Keep feeding the kitty. Um, okay. Uh, what was I just going to do? Um, okay, never mind. That wouldn't work. So you know that the you've been told that the clues to the location of the Dolorous Aditum likely lie within this library. There are three wings to remind you: one of arcane lore, one of religious lore, and one of Elturian lore or Elturian history. Karen starts looking for picture books. I would like to investigate to see if I can find it here, in whichever room we are in. Is it not in this? There's three wings. We have to go into one of them. We have to pick one. It's it's not like huge other rooms. It's just kind of long hallways jutting out from this one. So um, I'll pick one and start looking. All right. So with these, um, the uh, based on how they're organized, the you kind of need to know have some sense of um, knowledge about the subject matter. So. Um, it is either an arcana check, a religion check, or a history check as you are searching through the stacks here. What were those checks? Arcana, religion, or history. Depending <laughs> None on of which, which Helmara area. will be doing. So investigation, <laughs> persuasion, and... Uh, <laughs> well, our Vosharath could do a religion yeah, check as I she have, searches. I could do a religion check. Okay, yeah, you well, can start that, searching through the religious tomes. Yeah, everything here is books, and she loves books. She's going to gravitate towards the religious ones. Uh, but but uh, we're 17. Awesome. So you um, find a particular book that um, you look at... Uh, there's a certain sect of monks who worshipped Ilmater... Um, the most extreme of his worshippers that underwent the most, um, the, the highest degree of self-suffering and such that, uh, cloistered, typically cloistered themselves in subterranean aditums, the entrances of which were usually found in areas that saw little foot traffic like dead end alleyways. Cool. <laughs> that is what you learn. Awesome. Okay. That was awesome. A lot. That was so much. Wow. We've uh, cracked it. We've cracked it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to cast speak with animals on the cat and just be like, thank you very much for your help, my friend. Uh, so we are <laughs> looking for some very specific things. I don't suppose you can help us. <laughs> You've been here a very long time. You've seen things. Um, so in its own cat way, it will, uh, it, well, make a, make an animal handling check with advantage, first of all. Okay. So um, with part an, of what an... this is a little difficult because you are trying to communicate with the, the creature and in, um, in ways that would not normally be super familiar to you. So uh, I have shit animal handling, but I rolled a 19. So that is a 21. Nice. So, it's... yeah, you're able to sort of discern uh, when you're talking about important, the cat kind of says, um, well, big things 
we're going here a lot. Big things looked at this, um, this, tr it, this chain tree, basically it says. So it kind of directs you to a particular area in the history section that it says that the devils were pouring over the, for the most part. So part of that aid will give the next person who is searching through this stack advantage on their check to, uh, because yeah. you've narrowed down where the, um, yeah. the history books are, at is. least that these devils seem to have been interested in. Cool. And they're relevant to El Terrell as it currently stands. Awesome. Should specifically so not make that check. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So who's who's doing these checks? Um, Any historians in the group? I, Absolutely not. I, th I think that Vosheres might be the only one. Yeah, she, uh, I think she's, she's doing all, I think she's all doing, skills in question. She's doing all these checks. Yeah, I also have a plus nine to history. Oh well. Okay, I'm, yeah. So yeah. she's she's doing she's she's doing these checks. <laughs> With advantage, Vosharef, as the kitty helps you point out a good, good luck, area Vosharef. of more interesting shelves. And I just Are you just guiding say, her? Yeah, I just say good luck as I'm looking over and looking oh, for great, a cool. And so then a D four. Give her guidance. Those Is that a D four or a D six? Fabulous. D six. It's a D six. D four. Yeah, I was gonna say four. Four. So the beans. I already rolled the highest. I rolled. I can't find my little pyramid. Let's see. I, I, like I to just want to say I, I love it every time. Every time Liz leans down and I see those cute little hands. Spooky season. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna keep wearing them after Halloween. I love them. Um, two. So twenty. Dirty 20. 20. So you look and in some, uh, you find a history book in particular um, that details the the monks of Ilmater more from a um, historical perspective and from the perspective of the common people of El Terrell. And uh, particularly interesting as you're looking around, you know, there's a map in it and then it talks about the the areas where they tended they tended to see these suffering monks hanging around um the they were mostly in four areas that they uh that you often found these monks a place called the sanctuary a place called broken man's rack a place called martyr's alley and a place called hallowed hospice Awesome. Can you repeat those, Peter? The last yep. two? Martyr's Alley and the Hallowed Hospice. Cool. And what Broken Man's what? Broken Man's Rack. Okay. I also wrote Borken Man. There you go. <laughs> Flipped it when I wrote it. <laughs> like a little dyslexic moment. And I wrote Borkin Man. <laughs> Borkin? It's a Borkin Man. I think it's like a little corgi or something. Yeah. Oh, a little Borker. Yeah. Okay, thanks. I forgot the fourth one immediately, but. <laughs> Allowed hospice. Thank you. It's alliterative. That'll help me remember it. So those are the two things you've gleaned so far. Are we, uh... Um, so... I guess we should go somewhere um, where the, the monks would have been or something. Uh, where... What are we closer to? What are we closest to? Um... They're kind of equidistant. Do you remember what the first religion check was? Sorry if this is too breadcrummy, but the um, first one that I, the very first one, the first bit of information you gleaned from your search. Oh, yeah, it was that. Um, oh, so we should go to the Martyrs Alley. Yes. Yeah, so the first thing you found was that that sect te tended to find, you know, have secret entrances to their temples, or usually yeah. in alleyways. So, and then the monks of Ilmater were more often seen around four places, one of which was called Martyr's Alley. 
Um, we should go to Marta's Abbey. Now, I've been right. to Elturel before. Would I know where I am, even though it's uh, pretty rubble -y? Yeah, um, there's a map as well, so it will not be a uh, challenge for you guys to get there with these. To get there, okay. With the information that you've gleaned, so. All right. Ruby. All right, heading out then, I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, it will take about 20 or 30 minutes um, with your current experience. Um, you're able to stick to smaller alleyways with the use of the map under broken buildings. You still see up above there are many, many fiends swarming about. Anything above the height of the buildings is likely very, very unsafe, as you would be easily spotted as something decidedly not fiendish. So you make your way to a place called the Martyr's Alley. That doesn't sound ominous at all. <sighs> Here, there is a um, sort of T-shaped intersection, and there is a brick wall at the end of it that seems to have been maybe slightly decorated. Um, there are 12 bricks that have a word each written upon them. And then, sort of off to the side, you see a... Um, nail that has driven a coin straight to the wall. Now all of the the wall and all of the words look like this. Hopefully it's easy for you to see this if you make it a little bigger. Indeed. Or you can click the little magnifying glass to make it huge. Yeah, there we go. This looks like something a bunch of people from Ilmonar would use. Man. Welcome to the Depression Bricks. <laughs> Did you write this, yeah. Peter? No. No. <laughs> I was like, oh, I like your little Fs. <laughs> like on suffering. I have horrendous handwriting. So, uh, <laughs> no, this is. I was about uh, to be like, what beautiful penmanship. <laughs> Flayed also has a nice F and failure. Flayed. Um, when how is the coin in relation to this? I'm sorry. Uh, it's off to the coin. side, right next to Darren's. Um, it's just nailed to the wall. What? Uh, what does it? Does the coin say anything on it? Not that you can see it. the The head of the coin, or the head of the nail, takes up most of the space. It's pressed very tightly, nailed into this brick wall. Okay. Um, did these words that appear out of sequence sound, uh, do they conjure up a, a um, like a, a passage or a quote or a, a holy tome? Maybe. Uh, I'd like to go investigate the coin. Okay. See if there's like any sort of marking. Um, so that means anything. Um, you can't see one. It's very obvious, but you can try to pull it from the wall. It's stuck on there, so you can try and pull it. Look, take an athletics check. Juniper, as you're concentrating on the words, you can make a religion check to try to piece together. It will together not go well. Phrasing. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, and wh while that check is being made, DM, is if I were to use investigation or perception on these words, is there anything that I could gain by using such skills? Um, invest, uh, do, do her first, then come back to me. Yeah. It was a uh, nine, so there's nothing oh. to be gleaned as far as I'm concerned. Sorry, you just can't pull the coin off. It's just stuck into the wall a bit too Yeah, I'm fiercely. very bookish. I'm not very athletic. Yeah. <laughs> so. 
Uh, I got a I got a twelve on my religion check, but I will call over to Voshareth and let her know my my hypothesis of this being a holy passage. Oh, um, may may I? Oh my God! Totally, please. I don't know this book. And Voshareth grabs it, maybe a a, a bit too lustily. <laughs> she just has a lust for knowledge. Well, it's not a it's not a book. It's the it's the <laughs> bricks. Lustful laugh. The... She's like, <laughs> give me the knowledge. <laughs> I must Here know the truth. Here comes Voshi. <laughs> did I get again. Did I get anything out of the she twelve, Peter? Not not quite. You think okay, that so... you've already gleaned something in like uh, as a as a player that is you're on the right track that there is something related okay. to Ilmata here, but you just don't know with a twelve you don't know their um, religious ceremonies quite enough to um, make any sense of it. So may I make a religion check? Well, yeah. Hey, yay! Stay in school, kids. <laughs> Uh, 20, dirty 20. <laughs> okay. With a dirty 20, oh, one of their sort of more common sayings, or at least um, something the monks would say as a um, mantra is long and strong as Darren's devotion. Darren mm. being a um, saint and incarnation of uh, uh, oh, the Mater. Oh, of course. I, of course. I always thought they were saying Darren. Oh, oh, what do you know? So I will um, start touching the bricks in that sequence once you say that aloud. Okay. Um, so you you go out there, Juniper, and you press um, Darren, or Long, I assume? Mm -hmm. Yes. Start. And as the... Um, uh, as you... Um, press it, it grinds back. And suddenly... All of you see um, Juniper erupt into holy flame. It's like radiant oh, energy and feels of a holy nature. But um, the the word long lights up and you take... How many points of healing? Eight points of radiant damage. Eight points of radiant healing. the fire of Ilmater... <laughs> begins to burn your flesh. As soon as Juniper <laughs> lights Ow. up like this, all of you who are here in this alleyway see um, a hear a skittering sound as dozens and dozens, hundreds, thousands of skeletal rats begin to pour into the alleyway. We will now go into a bit of an initiative order as you continue to try to solve this puzzle with the added complications thrown in. So we'll do that, but we will do that when we get back from a short break. Ooh, all right. Uh, and welcome back, everyone. Uh, <laughs> what are you reacting to, Liz? Alive. She's, she's sneezing. <laughs> stick your tongue, stick your tongue against the roof of your mouth. It stops you from sneezing. Uh -huh. Just makes me look angry. So you, the group has made their way to the Martyr's Alleyway, which is... Dun, dun, dun. They know where, they know it is the location of the Dolorous Aditum, a secret, sacred location for the monks of Ilmater. Within this, they know is the final angel in the trio that will help somehow to save Elturel, this city that has been dragged down into hell itself. They have discovered a wall with a bunch of bricks with words on them and a coin nailed to another one of the bricks. And as Juniper walked up and pressed the brick that was the first word in a common phrase for worshippers of Ilmater, she was wreathed instantly in Healing radiant lights. flame <laughs> that burned her. No one else around her. And instantly as that happened, thousands upon thousands of skeletal rats began to pour out of the alleyway, swarming around all of you, your allies, and um, you can already feel them, party, start to run up your armor, just their tiny little teeth and claws beginning to bite into your flesh. So... That is what is currently happening. 
and are, are are these are these regular size rat skeletons or are these regular sized? Regular size, okay. So they're not of unusual size. That's good. And no. they don't seem to have any magical powers. No, not except for the sense that they seem to be drawn to whatever's happening to this beacon of cool, cool, holy cool. flame they want to. I, There's a, a, I, maybe that's it, but they I seem will like cast, they want to eat you mostly. I will cast speak to animals again. Kitty! <laughs> Kitty, my friend! My friend, bring your friend! Thousands. There, are, there are so Thousands. many things for you to play with right now. Come! That is, this, is, this is Kitty Playground, please! So I shout out There's, to the cat. To bring her cat friends to obliterate it's, these cat toys. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. Um, I will say, though, there are thousands and thousands of them, and you That's worry okay. based on the fact that they're trying to eat you that your cat friend might um, mm. also be, in the back. <laughs> be foodish. But so. I, Helmara's just floating off the ground looking at them, just like, what the fuck? Okay. Um so Let's see. So is oh, it, sorry, this Peter. happened Go sorry, ahead. this happened immediately when Juniper pressed the break and there is so we will go into an initiative order because the order that you all do things and how you work together based on this is going to determine the outcome. So we will be going in sort of an order um initiative wise. So the only what, what role is it I don't that we're trying to Palmeras. do? Um well, I I do have a I have a thing that I can do if if that's okay. Oh, we're first, trying first, to press what's the message. initiative. Uh, what? Oh, shit! I didn't roll it yet. My bad. My bad. I got it. That's okay. I was talking to cat. I was talking to cats. Uh, uh, eighteen. Okay. What's 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 your idea, Vashi? Um. So. Um, it's, 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 it's hard to explain, um, but Vosharath will, um, cast Turn Undead. Aren't yes, you, I've always wanted to Aren't you first, Mero? Oh, we have to do... Uh, I, I was sorry, asking I her what realize, she's going to do. Yeah, so. or I didn't realize that we were in the... In the no, that is okay. Uh, we will, um, uh, you can do that on your turn, but this is... I just want to make sure that everyone gets their actions in, you know, along the lines as everyone is able to continue. That's, and try that's okay. To help you know what? You know what? I was, I was, uh, I was messing around, and Helmara just cast uh, the uh, the speak with cats. So we'll just pick up there on Vashi's turn. That makes sense. Um, and. As so, on initiative count twenty first, I will say um, the as the rats pull around everyone. Um, uh, uh, those of you in the alleyway, even those hovering, um, as they start to kind of jump off the sides of buildings and such to um, uh, jump towards Helmara. So um, this does affect everyone in the alleyway. Where did my thing go? will take a little bit of damage as I scrolled right on past it. Aha. Here we go. So Can we make rats. dex saving throws or something? It is just everyone takes one damage. Piercing damage. <laughs> and okay. um, then uh, Vosharef, if you mm -hmm. use uh, then when it gets down to so you channel your will and turn undead and this is a massive amount of undead do you have the destroy undead feature as well um ba -ba -da -da -boo, ba -da -da -boo. gosh what Let's level is that see no i, I have turn undead divine intervention mind link radiance she of the does. dawn she does have it where is it? I think it's a certain level of cleric that it yeah. becomes destroy undead. Is it, is it any cleric or just certain clerics? So though? should I just click? Yeah, that's the question. Because if it's like, is it all clerics or the particular sort of cleric that I am? 
Uh, yes, yeah, starting at fifth level, it's when all undead fails a starting saving throw five. against your turn undead, the creature is instantly destroyed if the CR is below a certain un- threshold. I don't know where it shows up on the character yeah, sheet. Yeah, I can't find it on my character sheet. Every cleric at fifth sheet. level Boom. gets it. It's not under features. It's in roll 20 for everybody. I'll take it. <clears throat> um, so what is it? Um, oh, I see. Oh, yeah, there it is. There undead. it is. Yeah, I found it. It's Feats under and traits, traits, right? Yeah. 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 Thank what you, What does her turning look like? Yes. So Vosharef um sees this so i'm imagining from like halo the flood just like this like freaking flood of undead it's exactly rats. like that yeah <laughs> is it yes so it's this flood of undead rats and Vosharath, um her eyes begin to glow like a very bright blue and she says and she like pushes out like it's real freaky to look at i'm sure um that it's like from her eyeballs <laughs> it's like this like huge swath of freaking like blue light just like goes across all of these undead rats very cool and they do again every rat in this area i believe we said 60 feet just crumples to dust at this very moment, and you see no more of them. You do see in all of the little places where they were emerging before, more and more start to come up, but you've destroyed everything in this alleyway right now, and for this whole cycle of turns, no one will take damage, and the damage counter will reset as more and more don't continue to pile up, so um, cool. Juniper Sorry about that, guys. My uh, fire alarm went off. Um, everything's fine. Uh, <laughs> I am going to uh, bonus action wild shape into a giant scorpion. Um, and with my action, with my multi attack, I have uh, three attacks, two claws, and one sting. I will push the next three words in sequence. Um, uh, and take the damage accordingly. Um, unless I, that I, is that it unless is an you're ruling against that. To press a brick, it uh, and actually, as you press the first one, this is probably a good thing to roll a uh, d100. Oh, okay. Sorry, I got Please. really excited there, Peter. Marrow and uh, Hamara would be just pushed back just a little bit. So. 15. <clears throat> it's stuck. The next brick is stuck. Please make an athletics check to try to push it in. Okay. Um, sorry, let me get my... What did you so do? One one per action. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, how about a strength check with the... With the wild shape, is that okay? I don't have athletics in yeah, my. It's a scorpion. Yeah, and then add your uh, proficiency bonus. I would say. Um, all right, scorpion sounds strong. Ooh. Oh nope, nope. I rolled a two for a total of four. Okay. And Unf- so you're pushing and the word and. Uh yes. So, uh, it is stuck, and you cannot depress the brick. So multi-attack is not going to be useful for me here. It takes Oop, I, an action, unfortunately. And by the way, right. you, I don't know if you already applied the damage. Uh, I forgot to say the rats are being burned up by the aura around you of flame. So they do not deal you any damage. Oh, I'll take that one point back. Yeah. Um, then I will move out of the way, and with my tail, I will point to the ant for whoever is uh, after me. Okay. Now, Carolus. He doesn't really know what to do. He's looking at the, the pictures, and he says, what do I do? Press the ant. Oh. And I press the hand. Okay. Make an athletics check to try to press it. It is stuck still. Eight. 
unfortunately, you do not. You are not able to depress the word and. It didn't do anything. My turn yet. It's getting there. I'm, I'm, I'm confused as a person. Uh, I can't do anything else. Can I blast some of the rats away to give me some time? Um, you use your action to try to do one of those. So any time oh. someone tries to press in one of the bricks, that is takes an action. Okay. Can be done. All right, Meryl. So since I'm confused as a person, any action I do, and and we're supposed to be doing uh, the and long and strong as Darren's. What? Is that it? And? Devotion. D I'm doing devotion now? No, 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 no. We're doing it in sequence, so the next word is and. So and is That's strictly... I'm doing, I'm doing and now. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we're all we're all trying to press and. Okay. Um, I will try to press and. Uh, hold okay. on a second, though. Um, you said it's a... Athletics, Athletics or something? Yes, it is stuck. Okay, I am going to use Elegant Maneuver. As a bonus action, I will give myself advantage. Oh, cool. Athletics. Right? Because I need it, because I have a negative. 15. 15 does depress it in and there's a flash of light on both long and and then the flame disappears from juniper and both bricks reset and none and juniper is no longer engulfed in the flame does, oh does that mean it worked or it's broke I'll take a step. I'll take a step a back away from the wall. It might so not be obvious it. about it, but um, all right. Anything else? Um, this, I'm going to get some divine guidance here. Can I? Can I try that? What do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Perception, investigation, something to deal not with intelligence. Uh, I think it will make itself clear now as the wall seems to have reset. Um, Helmara, it's your turn. Okay, so I'm assuming I need to push in the brick for the next word, right? Well, it reset, so I don't know if we have to start over or if we or if we keep going. It's unclear. Your your guess is as good as. What, do we have to do all of them in one turn? Or if they get very stuck, possibly that it's it breaks. So they're all back out again. Yes. But it's an action to do each one. And there are five of us. So maybe if one of us fails, because when the one was stuck, we weren't able to get it on the first take, so maybe they have to all go on the first take. That sounds logical, and like the DM might accept it if we do it successfully. Mm, I mean, I mean, you're our history expert. Any words of advice? Can, can she DM, roll for do something? I have any words of advice? Make a uh, make a religion check. Uh, all right, Vosharath begins. Yeah, she's looking left up into her into her noggin for that memory recall. You're like, I know I learned about this exactly in, the, in Sunday school somewhere. Yes. Uh, so 24. I I sent you your script, uh, Voshi. Don't worry. Oh, interesting. Oh, thank you A so much. Very... Do I read it? <laughs> <laughs> You can just What's to see who gets it. <clears throat> Do I read it in Vosharath's voice? Oh, you have to, yes. 
Okay. What is going on? <clears throat> the scene begins. Yamata, I have failed you for 20 minutes. At last, our suffering can end. Somewhere, somewhere nearby is something who can help us. I cannot do it alone. I need your help, Yamata. I need you to guide my sword. <laughs> so, as you say that aloud, do you think... I feel fucking weird about it, because I don't know what it means. <laughs> With that religion check, Ilmata and his clergy thought of it as a virtue to suffer long and suffer in a solitary manner. One person. All right. Okay. Uh, I guess I will try, but it's still one let, action. Let Juniper, let Juniper do it. Let, yeah, it's gonna take us six rounds. Let let Juniper step in and do it. She'll she'll take the damage. Yeah, she's so got some between uh, so between uh, Vosharath and Juniper, they figured out. I mean, it is likely it has I'm to be one person all, that pushes. Yeah, all of them, like I'm so. resistant to all damage except Radio? for psychic. I'm resistant because I'm totem of the bear. I'm resistant to all damage except psychic damage. Oh, it should be you then. Have at it. And if I bonus action rage, I get. Uh, advantage on strength checks if we have another stuck brick. That's all you. Okay, so I'm gonna try and push him all in. <laughs> all right, so you push in long and you are in wreathed in super flame. long arms. <gasps> I do take... have super long arms too. He has super long arms. <laughs> She's like. <laughs> That's that might help. Um, you take eight <laughs> points of radiant damage. <laughs> I'm gonna have that, okay. <laughs> All right, and that is your action to press the word long. You can do a little bit more movement if you want, and then it's Vosharef's turn. Vosharef, now that it's your turn again, the rats have begun, though their counter has reset, they are now beginning to return to the alleyway and continue uh -huh. biting along people's feet. That is just rude. Um... <sighs> So I've already expended. I can't do my special trick again, I believe. Because I can only do that I mean, you twice. Could, you, you could throw some healing my way if you wanted to. <laughs> you know, I hear a little bird <laughs> comes onto my shoulder. Come um, on. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my, oh, how are you here? Are you doing all right? Everyone's left. <laughs> um, and then I hear the little bird whisper about healing my friends. And so I will cast is, oh, I hate to, I hate to meta, but who else needs help? If that's an okay question. Who else needs healing? I think we all need a little bit. Okay, I could do I, some. I need like one point, I'm good. I got a good berry. I'm good. All right. I'm, oh, yeah, 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 we got enough. the, we got the good berries. Um, I could do a mass healing word. I yeah, don't think we're I'll that do... bad yet, collectively. Yeah, well, do you have see, like wall thing... of force? Come on now. <laughs> well, so the thing is, uh, mass healing word is definitely not as good as mass cure wounds, but it'll get you uh -oh, back okay. a little bit. And that's all that we really gotcha, need. Gotcha, gotcha. So I will cast mass healing word on my friendos and it's six points of damage or six points of damage. Jokes on all of you. It's six points of healing. <laughs> <laughs> against all of you. <laughs> for all of you. Against. No, for. <laughs> Words are hard. How you doing over there, Liz? I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. <laughs> it's fine. Alrighty. Um, that's a bonus action, right? Don't do this to me. I feel like, yes. Okay. Let me you could do something else if you like, or you it can is, just hang It is, it is. Can I use my um, spiritual weapon to hit again as my action? Is that a thing? Or is that only in the context They're both of... bonus actions, Well, beans, even after I've cast it, that stinks. Okay, so in that case, I will try so to... So uh... here's the thing, oh, the skele I have an idea if, I, if you're up for... Um, something you did before was the, uh, the Word of Radiance. 
Yes. You are now surrounded by undead creatures as well, and yes. that affects everything in about five feet, so that might be one that could help your allies a bit. Just yes. one you've been trying to do and hasn't really panned out. That is very true. Um, yeah, so I will try to Word of Radiance. Yes. <clears throat> All right. So um, Vosharef says, Fos Ilyanach, and... Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, it, the a, DC uh, is 16. Got a five. So oh my goodness. I say okay. that the rats in, you might want to step up into your right just so you don't hit your allies with it, which I think can happen. And then all of the rats in that little area are destroyed. You will not take damage on your next turn by the biting and then um, both the ones next to it, so Carolus and um, Helmara will also take half damage as you clear away a lot of rats, so half and half basically. For uh, she can sorry, actually much... pick on, on Word of Radiance. Uh, oh, she can, so she could stay close. Oh, yeah, my bad. Okay, well then yes, I would prefer to stay close. <laughs> Lovely. Cool. Alright, you can reposition where you want I'll to just be. just move back. Yeah. Alright, Scorpion Lady. Um, can I try to draw the rats away from the party? Um, I know there are so many of them. If I move here and do like a wild scorpion dance, um, would it, would it, uh, you move hold there, focus? You see, um, sort of creeping forward. You do not draw the rats away, but you do pull the attention of a very hungry looking creature that is creeping up the side of the wall towards the alleyway. All right, uh, I should have enough movement to get there and attack. Go for it. Um, now I'll use my multi-attack. That'll be Multi. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, first attack, first claw attack uh, is a nine to hit. <laughs> You're looking for AC 15. I'll just make it easy on you. Thank you. Oops. Uh, well, second attack is a miss. Fantastic. Bat and zero. I love it. And uh, finally, with a sting. Uh, and a natural one. So I am a gigantic uh, scorpion roadblock. And that is the end of my turn. You know, scorpion roadblock sounds scary. So. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Okay, so the rat damage, now that we're at the top of the round, been delayed by Vosharef, we'll begin again. She will take no damage. The rest of you, so um, you miss me. Meryl will take three. The rest of you, you take miss my one. Gun. Oh, I didn't see you on there. I'm sorry, Careless, I skipped over that. Um, yes, Careless, go ahead. Um, that was I... pretty careless of you. <laughs> it was very careless of you. Uh -huh. Five, then 15, 20, 25. Um, can I see that creature? Can I see any others? Uh, just that one right now. I blast it with an Eldritch Blast. Go for it. Roll those attacks. Uh, two hits. All right. 28 damage. And it's pushed back. 20 foot. Let's see, it's a little extra there. All right. Anything else on your turn? Um, that's it. Now it's Marrow's turn, and everyone takes. Um, you said three. Uh, three, except for Vosharef takes zero, and um, Helmara takes one, and um, Carolus takes one. Point of damage. Take that, haha, -ha. Mero's turn. Okay, so we've determined that Helmara is going to be pushing buttons. Boop, beep, bop, right? Correct. Classic Helmara. Pushing people's buttons. <laughs> pushing <laughs> people's buttons. buttons. <laughs> beep, <Bam. and> bop. <laughs> beep, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> okay, so, uh, and I see that there's some creature that was pushed back by a uh, scorpion. I'm going to uh, stand next to Heli and stealth 
as a bonus action, and I'm going to hold an action such that anything that would interrupt her, I will intercept. With an attack or uh, something else? Yeah. I'm small. I don't think okay. anything like like I, I could roll into them and trip them, perhaps. With a stabby uh, step. If you would okay. allow me, I would absolutely like to try to do that using acrobatics. But to trip, <laughs> you can just I'm, I'm small. Step on it. You could try to shove. That's like the that's the equivalent. But yeah. But my my point tough. is is that I, as as they look to attack her, I shall intercept. Yeah. However, Understood. in whatever way I can. Okay. So, uh, I'll, but I'll go ahead and hide. Actually, I'm not even going to hide. I'm going to hold my broom and I'm just going to get ready to sweep any undead vermin that come near her. I'm going to sweep them right oh. out of her life using my magic broom. And I'm going to make myself uh, a bigger appearing target by shaking the broom at them okay. such that they will not attack her. Because I don't know what else to do. So right. that's what I'm. Gonna... I hear you. All right, that'll work. That'll work. Um, the uh, feral spawn will run up along the walls and jump towards you, Scorpion. Uh, apparently, you know, crab meat is good for vampires as well, or whatever. So, all right, I think a pair of claw attacks. I have a. Uh, what kind of vampires have claws? The tw- uh, the twenty one hits. Uh, the really clawful them? ones. Yeah. Please make a constitution <laughs> saving throw and take seven slashing damage. You got it. You got it. And you're a vampire scorpion. Boom. 21 Man, on the con so save. Proud. You're good. Just the seven points of slashing. And yeah, right. it's then Helmara's turn. Boom. She's going to push in the next brick. Okay. And this one is unstuck. So you then take two points or two die 10 of damage after pressing in the brick. So that's 14 radiant damage. I'm going to have that to seven. Yep. And sorry, and being the button alive. presser is a long, is a yeah, long, it's a long uh, thing. Yeah. I am probably going to need more healing as we get towards the end. How many of these she are can, there? She six? can bonus action drink a potion though. I do. I could bonus. I do still have a greater healing potion in my inventory. Yes. Or is it that the person has to be doing nothing else, Dia? It's fine. Oh, yeah. It's, um. Okay. <laughs> well, it's like it's Helmara. So she's pushing the bricks with one hand and she's drinking with the other. Yeah. I like that image. So. <laughs> like, yeah. I got this. I got this. Queen like, shit. I do it work. Queen it's shit. Awesome. <laughs> For sure. Brick pushed. No, this is, this is literally what she's doing. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got it. We got it. It's fine. <laughs> got that reach. Got that reach. Yeah, she's got those long arms. Mm-hmm. Peter, Peter's like, why did I make a puzzle about pushing buttons? Why did I do this to myself? I feel like After Peter that, has a lot of questions like that. Six turns later. Yeah. We're sorry, You see Peter. a spawn come around the corner there. Come around the corner there. Ending their turns. And it's Vosharet's turn. Nifty. Um, so let me see. Um, oh my gosh. Sorry, my uh, roll 20 just reloaded. So I will see the. Um, so this, what we're seeing on the map is not actually distance, the distance I am, right? From it my is. So, it um, is now. Okay, cool, great. Yeah. Okay, cool. So um, I'm going to, having noticed uh, the effort of our good friend Helmara, I'm going to approach her, put a hand on her, and cure her wounds. Nice. At level three. So 16 Um, points of healing. Sanka. Yeah, welcome. Some type of we've got to um, support each other message there. For yeah, it's something like that. Um, and then Teamwork. for whatever. <laughs> and then for my bonus action, I will um, use my spiritual weapon. Against, okay. Um. Well, is that okay? So my question. This may sound really dumb, and I apologize, but who is this? 
That is a uh, vampire-looking creature that started skittering across the walls and started okay, hungrily okay. eating at your scorpion friend. So oh yes, my gosh. that is an enemy. I'm, I'm going to send my spiritual weapon that way. Okay. okay. And make a spell attack. Oh, yes, perfect. Yes. You got it. Nifty. That is a hit. 23. Yep, for eight points of damage. Okay. And then that is Zabashi's <laughs> turn. The scepter Hits it hard. goes through the air. I must imagine that it turns horizontally and like spins <laughs> and then just oh, yeah. like whacks. <laughs> yeah, knocks it straight in the face. Like a propeller, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. All right, okay. Scorpion. All right, let's get some triple biffs here. Uh, claw attack number one. That's a hit. Oh, all right, 18. So um, that's exciting. That is, uh, uh, that's 10 points of damage and it is grappled. Ooh. So uh, does that mean next attack gets advantage? Yes. Is it restrained uh, too? Uh, or just grappled? It just says I'm grappled. I'm asking Target is, DM. Target is grappled. That, that just means it's got zero movement. Oh, Man. okay. So it's all right. Well, that's all right. Um, okay. So attack number two. Uh, delightful dramatic pause as my computer decides to freeze. Oh my God, what's going to happen? 17. That's a hit. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. For another three points of damage. This is okay. a very beastly grab. And okay. then uh, the sting. Detail a 19 to hit. Yes, sir. Keep and, on going. Uh, that is uh, 11 points of piercing, and I need a constitution save. Ooh, Can poison. Be poisoned? Yeah. You know? It's probably immune to poison. It's, I it's a, a really acidic poison. They're not immune I to I rolled that. a 16. That, that passes. And it's not immune to poison. Wow. Um... And so uh, half you. damage on that. So, so 20 total? 20 total on that attack. No, not bad. Not bad, Junie. That's pretty good. Not bad, yeah. bad. Not bad at all. Uh, end of my turn. Careless. Um, seeing the one up the top there, I bonus action hex it. Bonus action hex that motherfucker. Which one? What right at the top. All right. Um, and then I blast it. Uh, so anyway. Uh, anyway. Um, uh, it's a trio of hits. Three hits. Roll that damage, and I'm assuming it's going to be back 30 feet. Yeah. So that is 19, 20, 19, 32, uh, 40, 49 damage. Jeepers. Ow. Jeepers, where do you Nicely done. It's just, Damn. <laughs> and it just flies backwards out doing like a bit of a backflip, but it does kind of do a cool like hero land after that. Parkour. You know, like, yeah. But it is 30 feet back. Um, I'll just remember that. And I move and... to here. Uh, yeah, I move to, yeah. It's, it's... All right. Top of the round. Everyone takes eight points of piercing damage except Helmara. As the rats are burned up in the holy flame, everyone else, they have doubled in their amount, and it's eight points piercing damage to everyone in the alley. Okay. And then it's Marrow's turn. Uh, let me see how far he is. 35 feet away? And he looks to be advancing? Mm-hmm. That one? Okay, so then I'm going to step to intercept, step to intercept. And let's look, that's five, 10, 20, 25. Uh, Con saves for those of you who are concentrating. 30, 35, and then I'm gonna 
stab him. I still have 10 feet of movement left. Um, and I'm going to booming blade him. Cool. It's six binding ties. So should it hit? I mean, will it hit? Could it possibly hit? 16 to hit. It hits. That is going to be 36, 43 points of damage. Look at you guys. Big <laughs> sluggers, is, every one of you. <clears throat> he is sheathed up in bandages and five, ten. Take a step back. Uh, <laughs> well done. Haha, <laughs> rakish audacity. Okay. One up top is doesn't care. Mm-hmm. Or one up top is far away, so it moves there with their action. Dashes to here. And uh, the one left will take that extra damage. Is it already rolled? Yep, it's another seven points of thunder damage. As the booms and then it runs forward to attack you twice. Mero, I have a 14 and a 22. I need a con save after taking five slashing damage, assuming you can't dodge the 22. The 14 misses. Um, the 22, I'm going to half damage that. Okay, so um, reduce it to two and con save. Yep. Two and a con save. What's the con save for? As I'm rolling, it's already rolled. 17. Um, The wound does not open and profusely bleed. Oh gosh, that's gory. Yeah. My goodness gracious, that's not okay. His turn. Or the other ones. Attacks one against Scorpion, Scorpion, 15 and 16. Both hit. Two con saves, please. All righty. Everything is so slow on this computer. I'm so sorry, you guys. That's okay. It's ruining Christmas. Both succeed. 15 and a 16. Excellent. How much damage? And eight, so you just take the 18 points of uh, slashing. Just the 18? Oh, lovely. Yep. Okay. Which brings us to Helmara. I bet she pushes a button because that's what Helmara would do. Yep. That's exactly what she does. Boom. Long and strong. She be strong. That's not as entertaining. Eight points of radiant damage halved. Mm-hmm. Long and strong, and down to get her friction on. Ooh. Oh, I have my. so many things to say about that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Voshara. Keep it classy. Keep it classy. Oh yeah, you you know us. What epitome of what? <laughs> um, because we get yeah, stupid. I mean, outrageous. It'll be classy. Stay away from us, because we're contagious. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so Vosharef, I would like to cast Wall of Fire right Ooh. in front of this person thing. So like okay. here, right here. Or it could shield the, everybody. Can you it shape could a shield wall of fire? everybody? Oh yeah. Well, I let me see. DM knows this. DM, can you shape a wall of fire? You can. Yes, I think. Yeah. You've got panels that yeah. you can do. Well, then I would love to wall of fire. Just like cut all of those uh, little vamp no, ladies force off. force is a line or a circle, isn't it? Actually, it doesn't. It looks like it is a wall. Could be a ringed wall. Yeah. It's in uh, yeah. roll 20. Okay. But yeah, so, so you can make wall. a circle wall. You can make a spiral wall. Ringed wall, 20 feet in diameter, 20 feet high, one foot thick. So, How would you like to uh, shape it if it's 20 yeah. feet diameter? So, or a wall. Either my con- my concern is that if I'm like trying to shape, okay, so it can be just like here, like directly in front of us, right? Yeah, you could From also the point do of... like this, or you could yeah. do a longer wall like this, or something like that. So. 
Yeah, I would like to do the longer wall, the longer option. So like from okay. there, <clears throat> from this corner to, I guess that corner, is that okay? But that that looks like that is more than 20. Oops. Um, so you're thinking like, like that? Yeah. Okay. Um, up to 60 feet long, so that's totally fine. Um, okay. Yeah, because my concern would be that it's like if I were to shape it longer or nearer to my friends, that they would have to make that dex. You, you could probably do it like that. I could. I can make that dex. Yeah, marrow is fine. Okay. If you want to well extend then... it into marrow, he you would know that he is real dodgy and can dodge. Yeah, parkour, I would parkour. like. <laughs> I would like to extend it into marrow then. All right. Okay. Do I have to make it save now or on my turn? Anything within... Uh, oh, when it appears, right now. Yeah. I have to do it right now. Neat. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Dex, watch me Eight. roll a one. Don't you dare. Hold my breath. It's a 19. I'm pretty sure you're okay. Yeah, so. that, beats, that beats her, DC. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I have a, uh, let's see, what, where, where am I? 14 on my save for the thing. Does that fail? Oh, yeah. that fails. All right. 5d8 damage. Yay. Ooh. Fun. That's right. a lot. But let's guess what? See. Well, that's 28 damage. Oh, Ooh. nice eights. Yeah. Liz, nice. You see on this, the is. actual spell on there, you can see the 5d8 highlighted. You can just click on that next time if you want. <gasps> yeah. what? Nifty totally. And the creature is torched in front of Marrow. Yeah. And I dodge it completely and I don't even take half damage. Oh, that takes Ooh, double. Evasion. Takes double damage, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Got you've got evasion at that level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is it- I just, I just, actually, the wall of fire comes roaring and I go, ah! and I just dro- <laughs> stop, drop, and roll. But yeah, I yeah, managed yeah. to the completely best evade. Reaction, yes. Um, and so I tried to check. Does my spiritual weapon go down if I fail my? No, it's not concentration. Save? No. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Okay, so then I will use the spiritual weapon to hit the one attacking my scorpion friend. Yep. I think that's where I had imagined it being before, so yeah, you can yep. repeat that attack. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. 25 to hit? Nice! Does it? Yeah, it does it. Yeah, so 12 force damage. And that you the vampire goes <gasps> limping dead in the Yay! Yeah. Look at her! And, and any rats approaching on the other side of the wall of fire get crisped. Yeah, get yeah, wrecked. they sure do. They're not like, even kebabs. Is... <laughs> yeah, they're not even kebab worthy. Too How's bad that they're feel? coming from everywhere. No! <laughs> Ooh. Oh. All right, cool. Right. I, uh, Juniper, I think I see some pre-rolled attacks. I but... did, I did, but that uh, that monster is, um, that monster is destroyed. Did. So I'm going to come to this side of the wall and if I can hold my first attack of the claw for when that uh, monster makes it to the wall. If that's that all right. That sounds fine. You, does all a right. giant scorpion have reach? Uh, I am reaching through a wall of flame. Are you crazy? Uh, yes. No, I'm... <laughs> the dex is not... Scorpions, I would definitely like, take... Uh, aren't scorpions resistant to fire? Come on. Orange cat. Uh, I also have not cat. many hit points left on uh, on okay, the scorpion, yeah, no. and I am also not resistant to fire. No, uh, so I'm just going to hang out on this side and hold my attack. Fine. Okay. It's the end of my turn. Carolus. Um, I blast our friend up the top. <laughs> You're just not letting him. It is opaque, the wall, and it's twenty feet high. So it would get uh, some I'll extra just, AC I'll float or what? Up 30 foot so, and then power it. 
and the only thing, if you're up 40 feet, if you start to get taller than the buildings, this is that danger zone where doing anything, I sort of warned, but doing anything above the height of the buildings is going to I, I've potentially I attract attention. I need to go 25 feet up to be able to see it, don't I? Uh, yes, yeah, I I'll suppose. Just, I'll just do that. Okay. Uh... Oh, oh, natural one. Look at that. That ain't very good, is it? Uh, well, that is 16, 26, 28 damage. And it's pushed back 20, uh, 20 feet. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 28 damage, you said, total? Yes. Um... If it makes any of it better, five of that's fire. Uh, it kind of does. That one's almost dead. Yeah, so it would have taken an extra five last time then. Top of the round. Uh, it's one. You see one appear here. Meryl, you guys picked the right side of the alleyway. As you see three more appear here. But it's so opaque, so we just barely see them. Indeed. And everyone in the alleyway takes. Do I still take it if I'm 25 feet up? Yes. I'm sure that be. 12 points of damage, except for Helmara. Wow. That 12 points of damage is like one damage, one damage, one damage. It's not like one shot, right? It's it's like an area effect. It's not. It's okay. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> you can't All have right. 12 single points of damage to zero. I, I see you. I, I see wasn't going to try to do that, but I wanted to make sure no, that I could it's, cut it it's not. Six. It's it's uh, it's. But it's not. in tiny bites. It's cool. Um, yes, indeed. Helmara, next button long and strong. Boom! As. What are we at now? Four? Long yes. and strong. Uh, As. Yes, that was four. Oh, take 19 gosh. It points goes up of radiant for each damage. One. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Half that is uh, 16 minus 8. You said 19 it's, points? Yeah. That's nine it's lucky that she, her rage can persist as long as she's taking damage. As long as I'm <laughs> taking damage. I mean, if the, al the alternative is every turn, I bonus action rage. <laughs> she's 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 totally animating it. I will not fall, punch. You just see her, no, like, you see punch. her, like, pushing these things. And you just see radiant light, like, outlining her. And she's like, I got this, guys. I'm good. She's <laughs> she's beating the crap out of that wall. <laughs> Voshoreth, I do believe you need to make a con save, as does Carolus, for your concentration spells. Ah, uh, yes. And then it is your turn. Fifteen. Sixteen. You are still producing a wall of fire. Yay. Um, and it's your turn. Cool, cool. So I will. Hmm. Interesting. First, I will use my spiritual weapon. It can move 60 feet, correct? So it could or, move out to this outer one here. Yep. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to take a, a thwack at it. <clears throat> Seventeen. To hit. Yes. Yay! Uh, nine force damage. Nine. Okay. Um, and then. The three to the left would we'll have to make a deck save. For the fire. Yeah. One d eight fire. They're within ten feet of it. They are. That's on her turn. Uh, 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 which ends its feet uh, 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 five damage to each creature that ends its turn within ten feet. Okay, they would have ended their turn there because that on their turn they dashed. So, all right. Um, and then I will also toll the dead if I can uh -huh. to any of these. 
You'll I don't need think to, I can. You're not to flying, this one. so you, you could toll the dead to this one, but you need to go up here to see it. I can do that. Yeah. That'll work. Cool. Oh, that's my roll. Oh. Wisdom. I have a five? Haha, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Sorry. Bye. <laughs> 27 necrotic damage. I am, however, Holy resistant cow. to necrotic damage. <laughs> oh, um, no. So you take oh. half of it? My hex, yeah. my hex damage is necrotic Okay, well, that's well. still fine. You take 13 okay. points of damage. Or 12. That's, that's still good. That's a cantrip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you said your hex damage, Jade? My hex damage is necrotic as well. Uh, oh, okay. That's okay. It's... I, I do not believe it would have mattered. This one has maybe six to seven more hit points, so it's not a huge factor, so that's fine. All right, Scorpion. All right. Uh, fire, uh, fire damage. Move through uh, Voshadeth and block the wall again, holding her action for uh, an attack when they get there. That's the end of my turn. The ones on the left still have to make a deck save against fire. They did. Uh, I, I did it. I factored. I had um, a 25 and then two fails. So, um, is it when they... I don't know if, if Liz rolls Yeah, so they, do they take the full damage? Yeah, if a foul... Actually, damage, it says on damage. one side of the wall. Yeah, yeah it's, it's only that side, yeah. It's not our side. Yeah. So they take, the side yeah. with the dots. So Liz, click so, yeah, 1d8. That's, that's massive. 1d8? Moshareth, roll another 5d8. Yeah, click the 5d8. No, it's 1, 1d8. Oh. It's within oh. 10 feet, yeah? It's 1d8. If they pass um. through it or get closer to it, it's 5d8. It's, uh, hold on. No, no, it's 5d8. Yeah, 5d8 so, to each creature that ends its turn within yep. 10 feet of that side. It's in roll 20. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. 19. Uh, not great. Uh, oh, not instant great, not damage. terrible. Boom. But it's good. It's persistent it's, damage to yeah, multiple targets. Free damage. That's good. And mm-hmm. it's fire. That's, that's <laughs> huge yeah. against them. 38 yeah. damage. They're getting crispy. All right. <laughs> and she said she didn't have any good spells. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. And it's uh, Carolus. Oh, the deck save is only when it's conjured. Yes. Only when it's conjured. After oh. that, it's just an area effect. Yeah. Then they took the full thing. All right. I'll mark that back down to 19. Wow. Cool. Um, I am obviously flying. Is the one up the top still alive? He is. I'll hit, hit him first. Uh, 25. Or 24 damage. And That's one up top. Yeah, that's me doubling the fire, by the way. 24 versus yep. 27 damage. It's not... It's not um, doubled. Oh, is it not? No. Okay. Um, 14 force, 5 fire, and 6 necrotic. Okay. The one up top is dead. It had not many hit points at all. Okay. From the first uh, shot. I then fire at the one next to the, um, on the left of Marrow. Uh, 24 24 necrotic Alrighty I'm assuming you're halving the necrotic Yeah, I got it And th- and that one's moved back 20 feet Actually, no, I'm going no, I'm, I'm to leave it there Oh, okay Yeah. Why would I want to take it away from the damage? Why indeed All right Everyone in the alleyway takes nine points of piercing from the rats. I am no longer a scorpion. Uh oh. And. We are hungry. I go through the fire. Oh, uh, I do. Vosh has to make a con check, right? 
Uh, yeah, everyone who's concentrating. They made it through. How did they do that? You can run through it. How do they make it through my space? They crawl over you. They can crawl along the walls. I... Oh, those rats. My con was five. That's okay. They're on this side of the wall now. Uh, roll another 5d8. You don't... They just, they don't care. They're hungry. Oh, 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 oh. Ouch. Ouch. Beautiful. Get All lost. Right. But, Marrow, you're right there. And they're hungry. They're all going to slash at you with their claws. One, two. I'm going to die now. One, two. One, two. 17 um, is your number. I have one, two, three hits. Please make three con saves. One, 18. Natural 20. Oh, darn, you were doing so good. It was pretty, it was pretty dang close. Um, so from that one, you will take a, um, you have been inflicted with a wound that you feel will continue to bleed um, at the start of your next turn. That's or no one good. wounded. All right, Helmero, you're almost there. You actually have one more uh, vampire ah! thing to get me. The one to the right is not dead. Oh, thanks. You Will I get an attack on it? The held attack is a scorpion. Does that carry or does it not? Yeah. All right. I will shillelagh it as it is upon me. Okay. Sorry to stomp on your butt and pushing, Homer. It's okay. It's okay. It's really uh, not that exciting. Uh, 13. Uh, 13 bludgeoning damage with the shillelagh. Okay. What's the uh, sixth I... said damage, Peter? Should be 5d10, right? The fifth word? Okay. Yep, you're right. So you're looking so discard at... discard the last six. 33 points of blood of radiant damage and 13 wow. to this... But 33 halved is 16, so that's that's not... Yeah, not as bad. That's, that's not as bad. <laughs> is the There's just one more word. Is... Oh, I don't gone. think so. Yeah. God, this, this would have been time to have haste. Man. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Sorry, it's long. Um, I didn't mean uh, that against the DM. I meant just against the, the puzzle. Yeah. Okay. Vosharath, it's your turn. Uh, Z posted something in the chat. You may want to look at. I don't uh -oh. know. Uh, I don't do know the answer think. to the question. It was. Oh, I didn't hear the five. I thought you would. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I was shocked you asked, frankly. I was like, okay, we'll do it. <laughs> now it goes down. Um, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, oops. Okay. My rose dead. Oh, he's back again. <laughs> no. Okay. He's dead again. Ah. And now it's your turn. <laughs> okay. So um, I will cast, gonna bring out the big guns and cast us a mass cure wounds. Ah. Yes. Nice. Cool. Roll that healing a bun. You're. And I'm going to roll it at level seven, which is real Goodness. friggin' high. Let's see, and uh, good grief. Only 18, 18 points. And to got, everybody. To everybody. Yeah, that's a big everybody. difference. That's, that's good. It does, yeah. but it could have been so yeah. much better. <laughs> I, think, I think that was straight, straight average, like, right down the middle because you had yeah. one five and one one so yeah that's good well and it is what it is so uh yeah that's my action and then so technically 90 points of healing so yeah that is that's pretty good okay i'll take uh 
I um, do apologize. At some point, my token got left and came back, and I lost initiative, so I, I fell off the tracker. I was after Careless, though. Yep, you were first. Okay. Gotcha. Um, sorry. So, um, I still have my spiritual weapon, correct? Uh huh. Okay, so I'm going to again take a whack at um, the one right in front of Juniper. Beautiful. Let's see, I'm a spiritual weapon. Twenty-five to hit. <laughs> you you ask as if <laughs> as if that's not going to be a thing. Yeah. Uh, nice. Liz, you're casting yeah. that each round. You know you don't need to cast each round. Oh. Just make sure it's not marking off spell slots. She's Unless you did want to do it at sixth level, level which is a lot of damage. <laughs> it's uh, up to you. I'm trying to go back to figure out. It's not worth it for three D eight damage level. for sixth level slot. You've already but cast which, it. Yes, but I was just yeah. trying to figure out at which level I had cast oh. it, and it was actually at level five. So I'll just roll again. Just one less D. Yeah. <clears throat> we can. Oh, that's just take off good. the last. Yeah. Okay. Seventeen. That 17. will bring down that spawn. Bye. At least you've still got your sixth level. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was just I was trying to figure out <laughs> what I cast it at. I forgot. Did I, I accidentally uh, skip past uh, Juniper? So Juniper. All right, uh, I'll do a uh, Frostbite Blast since I can't really, I don't think there's anything else I can do with Consequence at the moment. Um, I need a con save. con save, please. If we can fail one of these for you, because it hasn't been good. Eight. Uh, yes, uh, 10 points of cold damage and disadvantage on its next attack. Closest one, okay? Sure. That sounds great. All right. And uh, I will... Everybody else is pretty healed up, right? I don't think I need to healing word anybody. Nobody looks bad. All right, that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. Same deal. Everyone takes 14 points no, you're of uh, me. piercing. I just went past you again. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, the one closest to Marrow. So that is 26, 34, force. After 30, 34 is going to kill it. Well, it would have been. So, first one is 11 force, You're 5 fire. Your second strike will kill it. Okay. So your third one you can redirect. Redirect. And five necrotic. All right. So. Gotcha. Cool. That one's almost dead too. Now it's Marrow's turn. You take. Okay. Uh, you bleed Good. out for um, eight points of damage at the beginning of your turn, and then everyone takes. 14 points of damage who's in the alleyway. Except for Helmara. Yep, got my seven. I Alrighty. don't think you I take am... any, right? The the rats I don't take any. your flame. Those rats when they come out that that's the three D six damage, or it should be three D six. I screwed that up. Um Oh, so oh, no, I don't right. even I take half damage. I don't take any? rats because they're burning okay. up in the um fire that you're engulfed in. You are not affected. Gotcha by Wonderful. any of the undead attacks. Okay, great, great, great. Unaffected. Unaffected. My face is red. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. She's got that look. All right. Meryl? Uh, I'm going to use uh, Isek's uh, shared sips on this one. So that is going to be what other people call green flame blade. Uh that damage will come. I'm going to attack the one on the bottom first with short sword. Okay. There's a crit. Yeah. But I don't get sneak attack, I don't think. Uh, because there is a creature within um, five feet. Well, the one, the one that I would have hit twice would have blasted 
10 feet, uh, 20 feet away, so. Okay, so this guy gets moved. Right, Peter? You, that, I, that is a I thing that happens. He would them, get blasted. But... Uh, well, that's only okay. because of the fire that I didn't. That makes sense. Yeah. So we'll put him there. Sorry. And that means, okay, though, and that, that you and can't green flame bleed I can, it. I still can. It just won't spit you, to the other you one. Can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll that damage then. And it's sneak attack now. Holy crap. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. That is I insane. can't even math that. Oh, my God. Hold on. 53. 65. 65 plus your plus 11 and from the, the burning 11, hotness and two more seven, and six. you get two more d8 because it's a crit with the green flame too oh my god so 76 so far. 76 plus that's insane holy shit plus two more d8 hold on yeah. Yeah. Crits. <laughs> I'm, I'm letting other people do the math i'm like that's too much math wow plus so another 11 88. 87. 80, 88. 88 points of damage. You, if it had full hit points, you would have killed it in one hit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I stumble forward and trip and go between its legs, and I just happen to have my sword up as I go. That's awesome. Wow. And then I fall and tumble to there. Okay. And then I go, there's one more! And I'm all done. Well, this one will have to dash, and it will do just that to try and chase. It's very hungry. Helmera. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Press the button. I push it in. You take 36 points of radiant damage. Halved. Half. And <laughs> suddenly <laughs> there is a burst of bright energy that emanates from you that incinerates every single one of the rats and the vampire yeah. spawn and they just drop into ash and then a <laughs> grinding sound happens as the wall lowers into the ground sitting there Boom. just inside you uh you descend some stairs down into a dank tomb and upon an altar which seems to be defaced you see the large form of an angel with hooks tied into its flesh chains holding it oh, no. to Aww. the um to the ground you see a figure two figures actually below it one of them is got its mouth open and just catching the angel blood as it drips. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. um, nah. Another one I is looking towards you with wide eyes. <sighs> let, let us go. We did not ask to be trapped here. Sorry, what says this? What are they? Yeah. They are creatures with beady orange looking eyes. Not quite as rabid as the ones before, but they look undead to you. And they've clearly been surviving off the blood of this celestial. I say. Well, Shreth is not about this. Yeah. <laughs> no, we just blast them. So they're demony looking. Undead they're undead looking. looking. Undead looking. Yeah. And. Yep. I'm a big fan. Are, of, are you? Uh, is it uh, just? Uh, there's uh, no, no talking. It's just D all stabbing. DC twenty charisma save for both of them. Okay. <laughs> oh, interesting. All right. I want to channel divinity on these boo faces. <laughs> I want a radiance of the dawn. Between that, but you're just not... sending them to their end. That's all. I'm sending yeah, DC twenty. You said. Yeah. I have a 19 and an 18. Oh, never they mind. don't have bad Christmas saves. And they just, do they just pop? Yeah. They just what, what just happened? Oh, I sent them away, you know. Um, I sent them away. <laughs> I just was like, no thanks. <laughs> no, we're not, we're not doing this. We're not doing we're, this now. Yeah. Bye -bye. No, thank you. That's thank you. Something. Goodbye. Uh, banishment. Thank so you. what realm does that send them to? Do I pick? No. They're home. Dealer's They're home choice. <laughs> oh. 
I've said they're going to come back then, aren't they? This is not their home plane. Oh, is it not? Of course it's not. No, because we're in... Hell, uh, so... Oh, never mind. After about a minute, the spell is done. Unless you choose to bring them back. Well, I I'll bring them back and then we're all ready to just pounce on them. <laughs> if that's what you do, totally that's fine. Confused. Yeah. Well, I have no, no idea I what's happening like, right now. Jonas Karanis like doesn't really care, so no, he would have just sent them off. Yeah, banish him Car and die. Jade's character just cast Banishment, and he can target two creatures, and despite them being rather powerful ones, um, they both failed Christmas saving throws. So, uh, I mean, they had know. good saves, just not he just good basically enough. wall of forced that encounter in the sense that. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, I how love does it feel, that. Peter? How does it feel? <laughs> it's what I spellcasters I done, do, man. I could have done something a lot better than that. I could have sent them to the uh, sent one of them to the realm with Celestia. That would have been uh, great too. Speaking of Celestia, <laughs> there is this. Um, Twilight Sparkle, angel creature, looking barely. Um, barely alive if ever it was just sitting there with the different chains and hooks into its body hanging above the altar dripping blood um just you can tell there's life there but there is no consciousness um i will go cast some healing heal it, on it heal it <laughs> yeah <Yep. laughs> um i will cast let me see um so yeah. Press the wrong. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. I, thought, I said start. I changed the scene back to starting soon. Whack. Apologize. Carry on. <laughs> um, I will go up and placing one hand on its face tenderly. I will cast heal. That's and the big spell. Yeah, that'll regain wow. 70 hit points. Atta girl. The, you can see its body move and a bit of these chains kind of cut it as its flesh as it tries to regain its posture. The head that was lulled over looks up and you open to see beautiful golden eyes. Um, and they're in love. This long sort of <laughs> auburn hair hanging down, and now you see Shane. wings that were probably um, close to I was a, waiting for that. Close to a 20-foot <laughs> wingspan. Now these feathered white wings kind of shift a bit. Oh, no, I was not It looks prepared. you in the eye. You are kind. Who are you? Uh, my name is Vosherith. Shreth North, are, are you feeling better? Mm. Yes. Thank and you. Who are you? I am Uriel. Who sent you? How did you find me? Well, we were we were sent by um, by Dara. Dara. Dara, uh, a small girl. I don't know. I'm Raskamidi. Oh, uh, Raskamidi's we got <sighs> his heart. And a smile kind of curls on his lips. Um, That's not good. And. Man, I thought it was Shane. Um, shoot, I'm trying to remember the name. Uh, and. Uh, and Verweer. And yes. Him as well, although I wasn't, I wasn't there for that. Hmm. Help me. And over some time, you'll be able to free him from these chains if you choose to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yes. In the time he will, um, at one point, step back and wrap his rings around as if he's shielding something and then whoosh, as he returns his wings to his back, you see the forms of Raskamedes and Uriel, the three of them standing here. Uriel says, I dreamt there is a woman here, almost a child. 
she can help as well to change the fate of this place. As the five of you have. We must go to her now. But first, such courage, such sacrifice, must be rewarded. Each of us can offer you a boon, or you can name what you would wish, and we can try to see it fulfilled. I offer the... Um, I offer the endurance to survive the suffering I have gone to. Uriel's endurance. And the hound-headed uh, angel steps up. I offer the call to bring the allies of Celestia to your aid. I offer the howl of Verweer. And then um, the owl-headed one steps up. Oh, it, it may not seem it, but I see many things and very wise I could offer you understanding and um, a clearer mind. I offer you the wisdom of Rascomedes. I'm already very, no offense, not as wise as you, I'm sure, but very wise. Um, so, who, Marrow? Maybe it seems as though you might, you might need this. There's more wisdom. Wow! Wow! Be, 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 be. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Kobe! Oh my god! Kobe. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Bonk! I know. I do you do that it. while propping your elbow up on my head? Yeah. <laughs> like, right, little guy? <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, let me find the picture while you guys are choosing. Being idiots. Oh, we're Is this one, one for each? <laughs> They're asking I'm, you, they say um, you can one. choose. Does, does everybody get it? One person gets it? Are we negotiating? Everyone can choose I mean, one I just, of the I don't angels. Understand. <laughs> Who's oh, we, blessing we can to each receive? choose one. I mean... Like, I, I don't need the wisdom. I've, I mean, I guess lot, you need the stamina. charisma, you sassy lady. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could take the stamina, but I don't know. So we get, so we get, we get wisdom or charisma mm -hmm. or stamina. Well, can't we call? Yeah. So it would, I do need the charisma, actually. So. I mean, after that shutdown, yeah, like, you do. <laughs> so. Uriel's endurance, the howl of Verweer, or the wisdom the of Rascomedes. The howl of oh, Verweer uh, does the summon celestial. S yeah. Sorry, are you, you say uh, this again? Is that what you're choosing? No, no, that I'm asking. What, I'm what, what are those? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what I chose. Could, <laughs> but could you, I like, don't want to steamroll people. Could you can say you them so I can write down? them down? Because I'm so yeah. terrible that I can't understand what they are. Yes. Um... What does it mean? Does it mean we get like a bonus star dexterity or charisma? Well, possibly? one of them summon summon celestial. That's going to be yeah. a summon thing. So, Uriel's endurance, the howl of Verweer, or the wisdom of Rascamedes. Now, Uriel's is a, endurance is a. Being... Sorry. No, go ahead. Go I was ahead. asking. Uh, Uriel's, Uriel's endurance, endurance is, is I will give you the strength to um, to suffer through long. Um, uh, to suffer long and healthily as I have, basically. So he basically in endurance and it gives you the power to suffer greater things. Um, both, all of both of says he, his name. howl will help you, will summon for you um, uh, celestials to aid you in battle. And then the wisdom of Rascomedes, he says he's very wise and can make you more wise. Are these I have permanent? to think that the followers of Ilmener would both take the endurance. I have to think that from a religious standpoint, they couldn't take anything say, other than that. 
Mm. Yeah, I feel like Helmara would be like, yeah, endurance. That sounds great. This uh, um, uh, very. Did you see the picture of this guy? By the way, I mm-hmm. see Uriel up there. It was yeah. Uh, will Ooh, yeah. come and embrace you with his arms and wings, uh, Helmara, and He's you will the... feel <laughs> a new, a renewed strength in your body. And you will also place a small object in your hand. And um, we will then go to the next person who wants to step forward to receive it. Do gift. I know what the object is? Not yet. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Vosharath would like to step forward to claim the uh, the charisma. <laughs> what? The howl? Oh, the howl. Okay. Are. To summon so, celestials. Uh, yeah, because um, she's a celestial and she wants her celestial buds. You know what I mean? Sense. Well, she will. Um, um, she wants a crew. Rascomedes will sort of <laughs> clasp you by the shoulders and then <gasps> will kind of go forehead to forehead with you and then oh. kind of put a hand to your uh, Very cheek weird. and then, you know, draw him back and just nodding like warriors greeting each other after battle or hunters, you know, about to go forth. He has sort of a wild look in his eyes and you feel Doggy head something butt. in your throat, <laughs> words or sounds that you didn't have before. You feel power in your breath. <gasps> and he then places a small object in your hand as well. Minty. <laughs> I'm going to do the same one. I'm going to go. The howl? The howl. Yeah, why not? Oh. Okay. Same thing happens. You have to, to do you. it, Jade. You have oh. to howl. <laughs> <laughs> Mero and oh. Juniper, <laughs> what are you choosing? Juniper will step forward to the to Rascomedes and uh, will accept the boon of wisdom. That makes sense. Okay. Um, <laughs> Got him. He will give you a hug and you will feel. <sighs> A new understanding about exactly why you did all of this, that you feel, or um, a new realization that this truly was the right thing to do. And it'll place a small object in your hand. And lastly, Marrow. Are, are any of them holding anything? Like nope. a, Uriel was just freed. He's not really holding a sword. Are, uh, uh, are the doge and the, the owl holding anything? Uh, no, I mean, they have weapons as if prepared for battle. Gosh, you know, uh, the gifts you're offering seem just dandy. Uh, but perhaps I could have, have something different. Can I have a feather from each one of you? And I'll go my way. Thus. <laughs> Going all Galadriel on them and uh, Emily. they <laughs> That's smile what I was thinking. <laughs> and nod. That wasn't and, what uh, I was thinking though. <laughs> each of them pluck a feather from their wings and offer them to you. Just a hair from your head. <laughs> well, that wasn't what I was doing. She gave They're me not that three. Cute. I mean, one of them's literally a dog. <laughs> dog feathers. Wings. All right. And he, <laughs> they will also place something, a small object in your hand. Very good. Thank you. All right. So. Very good. Uriel's Endurance. Those of you who chose that, I believe that was only Helmara. Yeah. Just me. Oh, Your yeah. constitution score increases by two to a maximum of 22. Ooh. In your hand is a interesting looking amulet um, of gold and um, jade construction. It looks like a little um, bug almost. We'll get to that in a moment. A bug, a bug amulet. Yeah, it's a bug amulet. Um, wisdom of Rascomedes. Wisdom I score increases you, by two. If this was, if I, if I had a, if I had a gold piece for every time I went into a battle for a strange head of an insect, it'd have two gold pieces. 
and that's true actually that's funny um is a is a blessing of understanding essentially uh wisdom increases by two max of 22. the howl of verweer is a blessing of valhalla so once a week Ooh. you can howl <laughs> like him and hi -ya, hi -ya. summon um, 4d4 plus five celestial warriors to aid you for an hour. Wow. And they are uh, wow. Berserker stat block. Wow. You're like, Damn. I need to move. Can you pack this U-Haul? Yep. There it is. They, he will also <laughs> offer to send you wherever you need to go. And oh, what will cool. be explained, um, those of you who- And a little witness, token she got what happened oh sorry everyone's little what? things are scarabs of protection which are scarabs oh, of protection oh where do we find that to continue to fight ah, it is in D, &D beyond is it yep yes, scarab it is. of protection if you hold this and in your hand quote if you hold this beetle shaped medallion in your hand Ooh. for one round an inscription oh, wow. appears on its surface revealing its magical nature advantage on saving throws against spells and 12 charges uh, that has a lot of text good stuff hmm. well heck yeah i'll put it in roll 20. boink 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 it's cool what was yeah. it was, ask your dm before you bring it into another game with these characters too but late. sorry they'll buddy. have to approve that but yeah, too late. Sorry, buddy. Because it's very powerful, and I would also say, you guys, if we continue playing, we would you would um, level up. But as we close out this adventure, it's you don't often get to see the full part that your own good and risking taking a personal risk for a good cause. You don't often get to see that fully play out. Before you're teleported to wherever you want to go, there's a moment where you're sort of between realms and you see after your struggle, these three angels each visit a young woman high in the hall of Elturel, just kneeling beside her while she sleeps and dreams. A day passes, she fights hordes of demons alongside a strange group of adventurers and another angel visits her at night and it continues until you see this woman red hair almost barely a woman really still a, still a child there unaware of these angels next to her go and make a heroic sacrifice you think on to the city of Elturel. And as the chains are dragging this city down, there is a flash of light, and suddenly emerging from it are golden chains leading up towards the heavens. The city will fall no longer, and while it is not yet saved, you have helped a hero realize her purpose and have given the chance for more adventurers to save these thousands of souls from a terrible peril on the surface of Avernus Aww. in the Blood War. So, Nifty. well done, guys. You have stopped Elturel, or you have helped stop Elturel from descending into Yay. the depths of hell. Tens of thousands <laughs> of souls have you partially to thank, so. And now Construction Group 14 can save it all the way. <clears throat> yeah, so it's a little offshoot. There's going to be a little, it's kind of like a little handoff because it's, actually related to the current um, campaign. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Nifty. I hope you're okay with that, MEDM. Thank <laughs> yeah. you, DM. Yeah. This was fun.